man, that's gonna peak on the mic so hard. <laughs> oh, jeez. Warm up them hands and away we go. Hello, every single person watching, especially you. Today is the 7th of June, 2021. Uh, it is four days short of being the earliest uh, sunset of the year uh, in Sydney at 4.52 p.m., which is incredibly early, I feel, but yeah, okay. Uh, I'm going to dive right into this because I'm really feeling uh, this game. So, whoosh! Here we are, the Bugs 3 Toy Story 3 gameplay. I don't know if this is quiet or not. Yeah, we'll just continue going. Uh, so, in the last stream, I started the game. And we got up to level 7. Didn't get all the unlock, all the goodies in it. And then got up to level 8. Accidentally didn't get all the goodies in it. Uh, so, let me re-clarify with level 7. Because after watching uh, me from January 2010 play this game... I know, right? 2010. Like, I, I played it for the first time July 20... Um, uh, 20... Wow, is this actually really quiet? Hold on, I'm legit, like, opening up the stream just for a moment just to hear myself, and then you're gonna get, like... Uh, and then the Whoop. There, there it is. Yeah, I can't hear it. Hold on. <laughs> uh, and let's mute the stream just so I don't... Dupe myself. Sorry, this is incredibly professional stuff. Let's just up it there. There we go. I think that's a bit better because uh, <laughs> I'd lowered it locally for me and then I'd also lowered it. I always lower it for the stream. So I feel like, eh, let's just, let's just keep it at about that level. I'm talking pretty loud anyway, so that should be alright. Um, so yeah, so I watched 29, sorry, 2019, 2010 me uh, play this game for a bit. And there were a couple of things that, like, he had read out that I was like, oh, okay, interesting that you bring that up, because I would have loved knowing that, like, a moment ago. Uh, so the first thing is uh, that uh, the enemies drop seeds on this level, that is correct, but they will not, like, permanently drop it and then you're screwed. It turns out that I was just not particularly good at finding them. Um, so if an enemy drops a seed and you miss the drop seed, the enemy will drop it the second time. Well, they, they will drop it all the time. The only exception is if you hit them with the gold berry, in which case they will leave it dropped and it, it, it just see exists. It's a bit curious why that's even the case. You'd think they just designed the level around having, um, having the seed, but no, it's, it's part of the enemies for this level and perhaps another one, but off the top of my head, this one, so there's that. Uh, the second thing is just work towards getting all the stuff at the beginning because I think I actually didn't, uh, can't remember my, my stream from last week, but I do remember picking up uh, various things, uh, sorry, various seeds, but I don't, I, I feel like I was like, oh, I can't get up there because I didn't have this green, like, seed maxed already. You can do it right at the start. And you're gonna want that. You're gonna want that blue one. It looked a bit weird to me, but trust me on that one. You have to get it. So I'm feeling quite good this week. Uh, the um, I feel like it's because I've I've flushed a significant amount of negativity out of uh, out of my uh, not my lifestyle, but you, uh, just like a recent event. You know, you get you get built up. And then suddenly it's like, well, I mean, once you don't have to deal with it, you realize, not necessarily how petty it is, but how, how, you know, eventually when things settle down, it's like, yep, get it, get it out of the system. So that's all good. Um, I've had a surprisingly chill week when it comes to um, things that I've done, particularly, uh, which... It's probably a good thing, but uh, one thing I did do was uh, for a uni uh, land but not land event, and hello if you were there, uh, I played through uh, Toy Story 2 as an actual speedrun. I played the N64 version, uh, which fortunately is exactly the same like level-wise, so don't worry, uh, and those who watch my old Let's Play, you know exactly. Um, 
but it was interesting because it was uh, I did it in an hour 28 I there was one small catch and I'm gonna acknowledge this I accidentally didn't unlock hams uh, power up on the first level um, so people doing speedruns would know hey that's not valid speedrun but getting it would have added like 20 seconds I had exited the level I just continued with the run probably would have taken me like another maybe a minute and a half if I cared enough to go back or 30 seconds if I caught it in the middle uh, so that's my bad that being said the time was so surprisingly good for me uh, in doing so I, or sorry, after doing that, I also learned up a couple of neat tricks, which I would love to show off maybe at a later point in time, but, uh, yeah, it, I, it felt very good and, and was a relatively smooth run. I don't know how much better I can particularly get uh, until I start, like, you know, really sequencing things. I'm curious what, like, a task time for the, uh, the 100% would be, um, as well. But it was really good. I I enjoyed it, and and I would strongly encourage again anyone who, if you really like a game, figure out how fast you can beat it. You may not necessarily speed run, like as in you know, un unless it's a really unheard of game. But but in general, it's like yeah, I mean it, it's going to be tricky to to compete with speedrunners. But one one thing that I actually really appreciated after playing a bit of. Uh, was it Forza Horizon 3, is that uh, they've got a system well, in the game called Clubs, and uh, basically all the leaderboards are based this around your club, as opposed to global leaderboards, um, which is such a great feature. Now, I know you've got your friends list, I know you've got all that, but the nice thing about the clubs is that it's like, it's a group of people that you can go, hey, this group of people matches my skill level, or they have a bit of a range of skill, me, and all the, the metrics, you know, stuff like... Oh, you know, like you did this speed zone and your this ranking or whatever. You're out of the club. It no, 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 not like you're out of the club, but like as in you're told just how you did compared to the people who are based on the group of people that you're with. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, for reference, anyone watching from the last video, I did grind some lives off screen. Uh, to grind some lives, go to the training level and collect the flip tokens. It takes about a minute and a half every time. And that's about it. I know there's a cheat to get more lives. I didn't need 99. I needed 5. Uh, the reason is, is because I tried this level a couple of times just to like get to grips. Why am I like missing all the bits? And... Ooh, that's a fun position. Can I get that? There we go. Cool. Um, so... So yeah, I uh, I uh, kept trying to do this level, and then I'd just like take some damage, die, and then be like, oh, like I only had two lives. So run a few more, so now I've got five, except zero is alive. Um, is there a term for when a game does like okay? Look, ooh. Okay, I'm glad I didn't double die on that. I, I don't trust <laughs> I don't trust Traveler's Tales to get that one right. Um. So, yeah, but, no, yeah, I, I definitely encourage, if you really, really like a game, yeah, and, and like, an older game in particular, because, like, a newer one that takes, you know, like, I, I really enjoy Dragon Quest, but, oh boy, don't, don't, you're not gonna get me to speedrun that game. <laughs> um, but, like, there's a lot of games out there that are just, like, you know, you'd be surprised how much fun you'd have just, like, running it fast, um, and just, like, see how well you go. And see how well you know the game. And I, I think that's something that I have gotten caught up in is trying to clear off my Steam backlog and I'm playing a lot of games that I eventually get burnt out on. I know, it's surprising. Like, I'm playing new stuff all the time and I got burnt out doing that. And I found out just like, you know, just go back to something you really like. So, like, I'd play Metro Prime, I'd play uh, Spire of the Dragon. Like, games that I've played dozens of times. And yet, you know. They're, they're fun to me every time. Uh, Grand Turismo is another one where it's just like, yeah, like the the more I play it, you know, it makes just as much sense on, on like a, an eighth playthrough as it does a fifth playthrough as as it does a second playthrough. Um, and so I I find that something special about 
uh, games, music's the same boat, like, you know, all, all my favourite music is stuff that I've listened to uh, dozens of times. Um, and I find new stuff about it. Like, uh, for example, I'm not really one to listen to lyrics in songs, but I listen to um, Genesis selling England by the Pound uh, this, like, about an hour before I start the stream. Um, and, like, I don't, you know, I'll get, like, some of the lyrics, and then, like, just, like, one of them, like, clicked out to me. Uh, there's a fat old lady outside the saloon playing all her credit cards. She plays Fortune. And I was like, I, I, I have now understood the, the, the pun, the rhyme. It, it all makes sense. And it's so, so, like, I mean, in this case, it's a, it's a pun. It's, it's powerful in the sense of, like, you know, or oh, it's stirred something in my mind. But, uh, but other ones, like, I, um, I've gradually been listening to Kid A more and more, and I'm now at that weird point where it's like, is this a perfect album? Like, I don't give those out very lightly. I have four albums in mind that reach my perfect criteria, and this may be a fifth one. Um, and that's, that's surprising to me, because I don't really, you know... It's more that, like, is this something that enriches, you know, myself every single time I, I listen to it, every single time I play it. And I, I think there's games out there, let me tie it back, uh, I think there's games out there that 100% have that as a, a characteristic. I don't know why I'm throwing this across when I've got, yeah, this is the strat, so that's why you pick up your involved power-up, is because now, you grab it, and then yeet the seed over the poop. And this is where I'm hoping I've been keeping up with my seeds, um, because, you know, this is right at the end of the level. And also, no, I'm good, I'm good. So I don't know why I had trouble doing this level before. I think it was because I hadn't played this game in like 10 years. I'm just reminding myself. And also I hate myself because I failed to mention that every single one of the cards in this level is a six of hearts. I don't know why. Ooh. It's a bit weird. Sure. Okay. So, point is, point is, this is a big time Tommy's life lesson of the day. Uh, you'd be amazed how much, like, <laughs> cynically media, but, you know, how how much uh, a, a piece of music can, can change your mind. Uh, even if it's the same song that you've been listening to over and over again, you'd be surprised maybe if it's a game, or if it's a movie, or if it's, um... A book or or anything a piece of prose just just anything like the real like good stuff is not the stuff that's fun while it lasted it's the stuff that is fun forever and the stuff that is fun until you know you're completely done with it uh so this is the fun part yeah i i uh killed myself on this grading because you can fall in between it it's uh hmm then you gotta be careful that you don't fall here. And all of that just to get that. Uh, and then <laughs> I can now walk back on one. I can do this. Imagine being the guy who programs that holding L1 is the look button and then programming the eyes in the top. Because <laughs> you need this in order to leave as well. And that's like, that's a pit. <laughs> Excuse me, That's two me. lives gone. That's two lives gone. I'll show off my strat to grind lives between this, because I do want that. Hello, Toasty Hot Dog. Thank you for the follow. Um, so I guess now the trick is, let's work our way back to the level and kill them all. And I blew them up. So scratch one off the puzzle. They respawn so quick, though. Like, I'll turn around, I'll come back, turn around again. I think there's a timer. But they just have to off screen and then and then that's it. So yeah, okay. Get him, yeah, there we go. Uh yeah, how's it going? Um Uh, what are these graphics? This is PlayStation 1. This is what happens when you have 224 vertical pixels? It's it's uh rather rather low. I find, though, that, like, these graphics, I mean, the draw distance. 
leave something to be desired because, like, you've got your environments draw distance. Obviously, you know, like, LOD swapping materials, and then it's just like, there's so many other things that only appear close to you. Um, so there's definitely, there's definitely a fair bit of that in this game. Uh, oh, can I reach him or do I have to climb up? Alright. I actually, I really do appreciate the, the PlayStation 1 SA. They should remaster this. Um, I'm curious, uh, I, as, as someone who's never owned a PlayStation 3, I hear that there's, like, you know, PlayStation 1 games available to purchase, or even just to play on the platform. I'm curious, uh, whether it's does, or whether there's any, like, resolution scaling, or whether it does run at, um, you know, the intended game resolution, uh, all the time. Um, I think... If you can't, the ideal thing to do would be to do like a post-process uh, filter, uh, like a CRT filter. Um, well, you know, RetroArch like comes with a lot of great ones. Uh, the Lotus filter, or is it Losses? I don't know, or the Locks. Um, ooh! <laughs> I love how like you can jump before you take damage. Just, just one frame. Um, but yeah, no, yeah, there's a lot of neat filters to uh, make things look pretty alright. I generally keep the, um, the authentic emulator look. Um, it's, a, it's, it's a taste of mine, uh, but up to you on that one. There we go. Okay, all the goodies. All the goodies. Now I can leave the level in peace. And you don't need any of the turrets. Just don't activate it. It complicates things at the beginning. Yeah, real talk, it's kind of pain that lives are only available at the, like, once a level by collecting all the letters. Because it's, it feels like it's a, it's a bonus collectible. Instead, that's the only way to recover lives. And the worst part is that if you game over, the game restarts. So you have to go back to your save, and the game saves your life count. So, awfully mean on that one. Like... Uh, I think it's just because, like, yeah, there's a lot of fly damage and there's not a lot of, like, replenishment available. Uh, if you're lucky, the, 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 uh, the level has two of the blue tokens, which lets you, um, heal. Otherwise, you gotta rely on an enemy dropping stuff. Uh, by the way, I'm gonna get DMCA, uh, struck for re-uploading this to YouTube again, like last week. Um, but I'm just going to leave in the videos because you're my Twitch audience for the moment, unless you're watching this on YouTube later, in which case, I'm sorry, you're going to you're going to see nothing for some moments. Oh, pie! I like raspberry. Excuse me, but can you handle grasshoppers? Can we? If you need help handling a crowd, our troop here guarantees a performance like no other. Why, when your grasshoppers arrive, we are gonna knock them dead! Yeah, okay, got it. Oh, yeah! I think the worst part is that, like, Traveler's Tale is, you know, okay. is bound to own all the source code for this game, but, uh, since, of course, licensed game, it makes it an absolute pain to to release which is strange because i feel like for for advertising for films themselves like like legit for if if an individual like is an animator on a film there's so many times i feel where it's like oh they'll they'll have a uh not a highlight reel but i am um, like a demo reel of like their work and they'll just put in like all the copywritten work that they've done but when it comes to games you can't like you can't release a demo or whatever. You can't do anything apart from like, you know, some real like low down stuff. I, I don't know how um, John Burns been doing it. Um, I'm curious if I can just grab the the um tokens on this one instead of actually having to do the level. Because sorry, the um the letters. Yeah. Okay. Where do I find an because I yeah I I <laughs> accidentally missed one of the letters doing this level, which. Hurts me to my soul this very day. Uh, so my goal is basically just get the. Um, you don't even have to beat the level necessarily. You just have to um, 
get the, the tokens and, and fail, so uh, I'll leave him last. Uh, but then you guys will be tired of seeing the same level again and again, so I do want to get it out of the way. Maybe I'll just be safe and just actually beat the level. Um, but at least I know what I'm doing and hopefully I don't die. And also I remember I forgot to grab more lives, so maybe I'll actually do that. Gotta watch out for the big cockroach guy though. I need super jump. He needs super jump. Um... Uh, reminding myself of, uh, you know, my, uh, watching through, jeez, how long would it have been? Eleven and a half years ago, jeez. Of, uh, watching the last time I played this game for the YouTube channel, and, uh, I did this weird, like, Dutch accent describing, um, Rabbits Go Home, which is, is just, just bizarre, even for me. I'm, I'm just going, like... What, what what was 13 and a half year old, year old me here, thinking boy. about? The cavalry has arrived. Cheers, love. Now you just need to find the others. Yes, yes. You must beat the rest of us. Okay. Sure. Yeah! I need super jump. You can't even skip these, can you? Whoa. Oh, hello. It's so nice to meet you. Hello! And welcome to oh, yeah. Everything You Ever Knew. Featuring bye Hello! Bye, That's a reference for people. Super jump. Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah I, I haven't really been uh, playing too much beyond uh, continuing some uh, gratuitous GDA Online, uh, the hackers have gotten mildly worse, um, but I found a, a methodology of earning in-game money that should work reasonably alright. I feel like they've got some idle strats uh, for making money in that game, and uh, fair enough. you got to put in a fair bit of work in order to get into those though, which is a bit of a pain. And you also have to know that they exist, and not buy things that don't contribute towards that. So. Which is kind of weird. They've, uh, yeah, there's, there's, I mean, there's a lot of mechanics going on. Um, Gee, they're never gonna believe this back on Ant Island. Uh, how do I describe it? You know, like, like you've got, you've got mechanics. So, all right, so they got to juggle like five different things going on. They've got to juggle the the first one, which is okay. party-specific yeah. activities. And so what they usually do is, if it's something like a heist, it's like, okay, generally, heist, and they used to be the thing that paid the most, because a heist involved a full party of four people, and, it, you know, it obviously involves you know, a fair bit of time and effort, so it might as well result in a decent payout. And you've also got the challenge of actually having to get it done. You've got instant stuff that's like races, where it's like, okay, maybe you can scale the reward based on the player count at the time. Um, and then, you know, whoever wins, wins. Whoever doesn't win, doesn't win. Much money, like, stuff like that. Um, so you've got that kind of stuff. Uh, then you've got the, the instant stuff that's not necessarily... Uh, party based and this is like okay well do you generally make the this stuff uh, you know like at a certain cost sorry I need super jump. does should the player earn a certain yeah. amount of money based on the time that yeah. they spend and in most cases they do that they actually just give you money based on how long you took in the event uh, sometimes they scale a little bit based on difficulty but generally they don't they just kind of go that's it uh, then comes number Three, which is a bit iffy, we have free mode. What do you do in free mode? Because, like, sometimes, you know, it's really easy because there's no one in the lobby. And sometimes it's really hard because there's a lot of people slash hackers in the lobby. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where that last blue token is off the top of my head. 
Uh, I, did you just see the exclamation marks, by the way? I gotta, I gotta be a bit careful on that one. Because that, that was the tell for me, where it's like, I'm starting to unlock the bonus level. Um. Oh, I forgot that this is a ledge. Yeah, okay. Um, so yeah, number three is free mode, which has its own balancing problems, because yeah, you've got to deal with whether, yeah, the lobby is actually going to be out to kill you or not. They try their best, but generally I found that most people are kind, and then like, one person is unkind, and that one person screws you over, so it's like, <laughs> the difficulty's way out of whack on that one. I don't know really what to do. And then, the last two are really iffy. It's generally passive time in free mode. So like, you're still in free mode, but you're doing things otherwise. Like uh, like in this case, they've got things like the, the nightclub popularity. Actually, no, sorry, not the nightclub. They got things like the, um, like the, like the motorcycle club uh, buildings. And, uh, where it's like, okay, you have to do some missions to supply them with, with things, and then you can wait. And then you have to do something to get the money. And then there's stuff like the nightclub, which is actually passive, or things like, well, maybe not quite the nightclub exactly, but, uh, things like the dailies. And they've got things that, uh, now locked behind actual time, and they... They've got to somehow juggle all of these. Uh, I guess the dailies, like, all you can do is, you know, just, say, incentivize people coming online all the time. There's nothing really too much about that, which is fair enough. Uh, am I blind? I cannot seem to find where that last token is. Maybe I'm walking around the perimeter and I'm not. I mean, there's that. That's, that's one thing. And then there's up there, but I don't think that's anything in particular. I need super jump. Uh, that was a purple power-up as well, so, purple token. So, it's not the blue one. I need the blue one. And then I come over here, and I don't quite see it. I don't quite see it over in that direction, and then... This, this is... The is... I need super jump. A little cockroach over here. Oh, there it is. Okay. How come it took me, like, a bit to, to discover this little notch over here? Alright, the question is... I'm crushing more of them. I'm crushing more of them. I gotta be careful. I'm seeing those exclamation marks. Uh, oh, I think I'll be good here. There we go. There we go. Alright. Alright. So, moral is, lots of mechanics. Uh, me as a player, my goal is to minimize the amount of time I've spent playing the game and or have fun while I'm doing it. Uh, I am very, very glad that uh, I described, I picked up the telescope. I am very glad that I just described so many mechanics that I don't have to particularly get too invested in one because there's a lot of other ones to toy around with. So I've been working on the, um, what was it, the vehicle warehouse mechanic where you can source cars uh, via a button, which has a bit of a cooldown um, over time, so you can't absolutely spam it. Although I found that that cooldown is not particularly high, like I can come back to the place and wait like a minute, so I might as well just wait a minute. Um, and then, uh, every, uh, I'll say about half hour, um, you can sell one of the cars, or if you've got a party of people, you can maybe sell more than one, but, uh, but, uh, yeah, no, it's, it's a pretty alright mechanic. It pays an absolute ton in the game, though, I noticed, where it's like, if you have one of these high-end cars, uh, you can... Like, so when you pick up the car, you have to pay for the repairs. So if you damage it too much, like, you know, driving away, it's a bit mean. I generally, you know, sometimes I'll get it, I'll get away for free. Worst case on average, it's usually about five grand. Okay, so I'm paying five grand. 
Uh, and then when you sell it, they pay you. Uh, you get the choice of paying some more money up front, but then you can sell it for a higher margin. So if like someone blows it up, well, you just you know shell twenty grand on it. But if you went with a free one, hey, no biggie. Uh, but if you do go with that, then you pay twenty grand, and on delivery you'll get a hundred grand minus any more damages. Again, I don't particularly seem to be paying more than a few like grand from that. So on average, I seem to be making 70, 75,000 per car, which I can repeat every half hour. And I can do it in an empty lobby. And yeah, like, and for reference, they charge people four, five dollars, I think, to buy a hundred thousand in-game dollars worth of money. Um, I don't yeah. quite know what their balance is, but I can tell you as a person, I look at that and I go, man, they really don't value your time, do they? If they, uh, if you can earn this stuff, given like a two million investment or two and a half million investment, you gotta pay some amount in order to get into it. But you know, most people are signing the game with a million because they're a new player. You can do the heist, you can do things that give you first time player bonuses for doing them. You should generally be able to make enough to do this and then you can actively uh, I'm going to say grind in this case because it's a legitimate grind uh, to tick off all the all the cars, build up a warehouse such that you now have just 32 cars and the game's not going to give you a duplicate car so every time you sell off one car and you're at that level you basically just keep getting the same car over and over again and you just keep doing the same thing and so uh, but what do you do? what do you do as a game developer to balance all that? And I feel like the toughest thing is that they have introduced idling of some kind. I feel like the general, you know, money... Oh, well, I guess the other thing wow. is that the money rate. Because how do you encourage people to play things if it doesn't, you know, make more money? It's a Skinner Box strat, and uh, it's unfortunate that the Skinner Box strat is rather coupled to a microtransaction model that has stayed there since before the Skinner Box particularly existed. Like, at least there's more reason to buy things with money. Uh, so this was the L. I think I just forgot to get the L. Or the K as well. I think I forgot the K. Where's the K? I don't think they're ever going to believe this back on Ant Island. The lightning sound effect gets me every time. I just internally chuckle every time I hear it. There is one more enemy in the level. Okay. Where do I find an army? And then there's a K. Where's the K? I do not know. Off the top of my head, maybe the K is around here. And we're not talking about Jamiroquai over here. What's the guy's name? Just yeah, I'm pretty sure this corner of the, the map is cleared off. So no more seeds, which is good. But I'm missing an enemy, and I'm missing the K. Hmm. So, moral is lots of stuff. Uh, maybe I'll get burnt out at some point, but for the moment, I seem to be still going okay. Um, I could get used to this. We'll see how I go. Oh, accidentally. Wait, the enemy wasn't sitting next to him, was he? No, that's just... What is that? Crayon. I mentioned this in the, in the last room as well. This is a dirty place. This is a dangerous place. Gee, they're never gonna believe this back on Ant Island. Like, this is, like, litter everywhere. Oh, there he is. Okay. So now where's the K? There's the K up here. Because I always seem to ignore this, this like, ledge up here. Hmm... I'm not particularly seeing a K. Okay. No, 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 no. K, not okay. Hmm. Oh, well. So, I've got three wonderful topics for, uh, the week. Uh... Mm, they're all... <laughs> June seems to be the time when uh, companies announce things because maybe financial year, probably financial year, 
Um, but, you know, well, I'll give him the opportunity because companies are good fun, you know. Wow, so this is the city. Uh, they announce stuff, people really appreciate it, they generate capital purely by the presence of an object that you can buy, and not necessarily the sales of it, I know. Um, that's the fun part about investment. It, it, it's so prospective, and you can just say you're making something, and I could get used to this. depending on what you've done, can, you know, put money in the company, maybe it doesn't. I've definitely seen uh, stocks go down after announcements. Never gonna believe this back uh, again, so that's good fun. Um, so, the three things that we're dealing with are... Uh, let's start off with Computex. There's a lot of computer-related announcements. I'm particularly looking forward to uh, seeing whether people will be able to buy a 3080 Ti. That's <laughs> a bit of a joke. I looked at the specs on that one and I go like, you know, the specs look great given the 3090's existence, but it doesn't look great given the 3090's price. And, sorry, given the 3080's price. Uh, or rather, the specs seem fine. Oh, that's the cake. That's the cake. Okay, so it's over there. It's on the other side of that. Wait. Wow. How many times did I walk past that? I just was like. Oh. Alright, so that's good, and they've pushed down the icons of the people who I have to find. So, that's that's good. I could get used to this. Alright, so, you'll be able to see more new stuff in the stream after Can't this. find us all. Now time to go. Time to go. Oh well. So, yeah, I... The 3080 Ti seems interesting. I guess it's a graphics card. I don't really particularly feel like there's anything that it does that uh, other graphics cards don't do, or at least other graphics cards that it's that you know they've already released at this time. Oh well. So, uh, what else did Nvidia announce? There's the 3070 Ti as well, which I feel like is much more fair and honestly. Not too shabby of a thing. I particularly like that it's got the faster GDDR6 mem 6X memory. Uh, because I feel like any card with fast memory will last a long time. Um, that's why uh, if anyone has been has looked out for a 1030, like, I know, I know, very... Oh, I accidentally hit load. Um, let's go. Oh, I'll, I'll do the boss. No, I'm going to... I'm going to... Get a life. <laughs> By playing a bug's life, I know, right? Um, by the way, so this is the trick. I know this is the training level, but you can do this in about a minute and a half. Uh, yeah. just work your way. Well, bury, well, bury, well. bury, 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 bury. Jump. Flick, there jump. Are a lot of jump. To you get a jump. Uh, ground pound. Good. Ground pound. Uh, okay, then you gotta pick this up and throw it to so just spam square. Then he's gonna say you gotta jump on this one. Then he's gonna say you have to throw it. Then he's gonna say pick up a token. Then he's gonna say change the color. Then he's gonna say jump on the green one. Then he's gonna say find another token. And then you gotta change one of these to green. And then jump on that and that one. And then you work your way up to the top. And then you go up. And then you go and pick the five, four letters. And then you leave the level. You can probably leave the level from the pause menu, but I. Listen, I haven't played this game long enough to, to know that one. Do that. That's how you get a life. It's the quickest way because you can only get one life a level by collecting all the letters. It's painful. Why they do this? Because you're inevitably just going to be losing lives throughout the game. I think me as a kid probably figured this out as well. I don't know, you just, you, you just go like, oh, I'm going to play the practice level because it's got no music. Um, oh, so we'll properly save over, over the slot. And finally, encountered some new stuff in the game. Um, I don't think Nvidia really showed anything like too big. They had a lot of things that they um, had already talked about. Um, they did the AI thing, as in like um, uh, like the d dramatic music. And it's like I am innovation. I am learning. I am even the composer of this music. Like, that kind of stuff. And it's just like, you, you've done this for like two years in yeah. video, I feel like. 
Uh, this is an interesting level. Um, I remember it being absolute pain, and it's because one, I keep taking hits, and two, because the boss keeps uh, keeps throwing uh, things at you. As in he, so okay, so he's trying to hit you with berries, uh, and you go. The camera is your mortal enemy on this level. Um, your goal is to eventually get the gold berry. I believe the gold berry appears later in the level. Oh, oh, and this is the fun part. Yeah, so the gold berry is over there. You can hit him. And you've got to not screw up picking up all of that. And then, so here's the thing. So one, you can get a life like that. That's fine. And now, you've got to run over to the other side and hit him with the gold berry. And he's going to throw the regular berry at you. And that screws up your level. Like that. I might as well do this in one go. Um, it's a bit mean. It's probably the quickest level in that regard. I think that keeps it. I think that keeps my medal because I exited the level with it. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's, it's an interesting level, I'll tell you that. It just exists. Horse fly mayhem. Yeah! Get me a swatter! Alright. You do have to run over to the side at the very least and grab the the blue berry. Super berry. Or the super berry. Back off, maggot. The effect's kinda neat. It's very Traveler's Tale, but like, oh boy, is it hard to know where, like, these things are in space. Yeah. Not the sound he makes as well, I was like... Ooh. Ooh, you have poo -poo <laughs> Excuse me? Also, hi there, ball going backwards. Alright, let's, let's go back for that. I guess you could pick up the, um... Oh. I guess you could pick up the gold very late, but why would you do that? Alright, alright. Once more with spirit. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna assume he drops the more seeds, even if they despawn. Oh, I'm just gonna commit. I'm just gonna commit. Yes, he did just say roll and roll and roll. Flicking his pop culture references. Mmm, and all the seeds go away because they do on death. A rather tricky one, isn't it? I think I actually might have. Oh no, I'm not. I'm not because he's gonna die on this hit. Which is gonna be rather unfortunate. Yeah. Oh, the hundred percent is uh, absolutely painful on this level, isn't it? Ah, Don. Oh, yeah. Alright. It's pro probably a quick one, like most people forget that it even exists if you're going through the game, but... You yeah, know, it's, it's, it's there. Alright. Alright. Just, just taking hits like use. it's candy. Super Alright. Uh, what else? So AMD announced some stuff. I am particularly glad that they are releasing the uh, the 5000... Was it the 5600G and the 5700G? Uh, they are APUs. Uh, and uh, they're being released 
uh, as, yeah, to, to the DIY crowd, which I think is great, given that they perform decently. Not doing a particularly good job of getting all these. Picking up grain here. Whoa. Shoot. I feel like I get eight hits. Oh, come on. Just picking up grain here. Alright, I'm at 32. Fly it's bound away, to have fly. three more goes. Alright. I should be all set. Okay, one more, one more seed, and I'm good. Or I could just kill myself here. <laughs> just be safe. There we go. And... Don't hit the berry. All good. Alright, easy. First try. <laughs> um... How many times did I try that boss? Three times? I got there in the end. Well, okay. Uh, so yeah, AMD announced, uh, those. I think they're pretty alright. Um, I don't know how well they'll perform. Um, if, if they're lower power, it's gonna be a bit, this is, this is hitting the, a CPU, uh, like one core bottleneck. It's clipping a little bit. Why? Because the priority is below normal for some reason. Up that priority. I don't know why. Tell Windows to not bugger off on this one. So, uh, did they release a new graphics card? They released mobile versions. I think that's fine and probably good. I I appreciate the mobile form factor. Actually, they haven't really done mobile graphics cards in, in a while. The good kind, like the really powerful kind. So, good on them for that one. Um, we'll see how they go. I find the mobile graphics card naming to be interesting because obviously they don't draw the power of like like a mobile 3080 does not draw the power of a regular 3080 and so people get it and then go why does it perform like at 40 percent performance and it's because that's why it's got like 40 percent of the power so yeah uh so this is an interesting level um in this level you have to collect the 10 parts of the mechanical bird uh yeah. it, this is gonna work. I remember this level being an absolute fun one because the ground is so shonky. Uh, which leads to a lot of weird points when you've got these, uh, these colored seeds. Um, because they just start, like, rolling down hills or, like, bouncing in weird ways. Um, I remember that off the top of my head. Uh, I think the goal is to get the green... Uh, leveled up like that, such that you can jump up this way. My best I hope that's the height. Yeah, okay. So you need to get over that gap. There's a gold berry over there, uh, which should not be too much of an issue. Um, and then there's some fun things, like, uh, this is obviously a seed to go up here, but you need another seed up here because there's an L, so it's like, oh, okay, so you gotta like really work your way up there. Um, I think they give you the blue just so you can heal later on. Oh, butt stomping, like wasps, I tell ya. Uh, you can just... You can just come up to these guys and they'll give you one of the hey, pieces a hand, in a kid? really weird way. Hey, you over muscled ladybug. Here, use the stick. You hand me. There you Slap. go. Slap. Just okay. So like sure. Okay. This I can use. Bye bye, buggy. And then there's another one. Oh no, he just, he just acts as a jump. Okay, sure. Uh, 
And then I guess the one thing is that there's a bit of a tree stump in the center of the level, which is an interesting one because it does require you to get the fourth level of the red power up, and I believe this is the only level that particularly requires it. Um, I know you can get it in the first level, but I didn't particularly get it, so, okay. Uh, apparently you can, like, combine that and the dandelion and you just get, like, some horrendous height. Like, absolutely horrendous. Oh, can you just go up here and just, like, jump up? Oh, why don't I just do that? Uh, weird leaves. Which leads to a fun opportunity of picking up, uh, that F. But we'll get to that. Uh, I'm mostly just scoping out the level, just going like, mm, what's going on here? Did they really, like, hold on, does this telescope legitimately point directly, like, next to you? Because that's, that's just where that is. Step right up. Step right up. <laughs> okay. Okay, the wrong person there. From the most mysterious oh my gosh, there he goes. of uncharted Asia, I give you the Chamber of Metamorphosis. Gypsy, my dear, I require your assistance. Oh, in she goes. Transformation, transformation, transformation. The mystery awaits. And, uh, she has just become a dim sim. Amazing. This I can use. So, who else? Intel now something. A knock, maybe? Knocks are cool. I don't particularly have uh, any specs off the top of my head, but how's that? Oh, I guess on the, the realms of AMD, uh, and this is something that will affect uh, various many people, is the Fidelity affects Super Resolution Technology, which is their air quotes competitor to DLSS, which I am incredibly skeptic of, because in the same way as FreeSync, it was a competitor to G-Sync, despite having none of the hardware, <laughs> like the specific hardware implementation of doing it. It uh, set out to uh, markedly achieve what G-Sync markedly achieves, which is hilarious um, and kind of works, actually. Like, if, if there's one thing AMD's good at, it's marketing something to be way better than it probably is. Um, I know, I'm going to absolutely lose fans over, over this. Um, but like legit, like that, that saying like, oh, it's so good and look at like this three times performance improvement on a GT. Well, they didn't show the three times performance improvement on the 1060, but they said like it's even running on our most popular competitor's card, the GTX 1060. And then you look at it and you go like, it looks like butt on the super resolution side. They didn't show it for long, but you could definitely see um, you know, some, some cracks on the, on the super resolution this front. That work. being said, uh, I don't think it'll be, well, I don't know if it's going to be pure, but I think the problem is that it's going to exist in a world where, uh, where, um, DLSS 2.0 exists, um, because that is going to mean that it's going to look pretty decent. DLSS isn't perfect, but it definitely leads to some real interesting situations. So, hopefully AMD solution 1 works, and 2 works well. But, I have the feeling that AMD is not going to release hot garbage. So, I'll always be looking forward to that. And, as a... Uh, if you're someone who does own an, uh, an RTX card, then... It's an option, and not necessarily, uh, well, it's something that you can actually compare side by side. And for people who don't have, um, uh, you know, an RTS card like me, you can at least go, hey, like, I can at least try it out. And go, does it, does it actually give me, you know, something that looks, well, sorry, something that performs better, because that's the main goal, and looks fine enough. I have the feeling on my card it may actually reach that point. And I do, I would feel pretty okay with a general upscaling solution because there's some games out there, and and this is this is a use case that I think not many people talk about. There's some games out there that just do not support that higher resolution, and you can't do anything about it. 
having something super resolution, it's way up, having something, um, or rather, super scale. Oh, how is that so out of the way? Uh, are there any other weird spots where there's like a letter or something hanging up? Because that's, that's the key thing that like hurts trying to get through this level. Oh yeah, up this ledge. Oh yeah, up this ledge. Okay, let's get this out of there because I don't need it. There's a lot of wandering around on this level, but generally, you know, you work your way, you find a ledge, and then you try and work your seeds up there. And eventually you'll find it. I love how when you're holding a seed, the enemies collide with the seed, and you just don't take damage. This is gonna work. Music? Music. This is the music that plays at the end of the level. It's going to end. It then reset. Hmm. It's a curious one. Uh, the last piece is going to be on top of the center, so as long as I don't pick that up right away, then I should be okay. But this is also remarkably close to the end of the level. Not the end of the level, but I've got 45 of the seeds, and all I particularly need is, uh... I think I'm going to need the gold berry via that. Oh, via the, the plant, so there's going to be that. I don't think who else now suffer Computex. I haven't been paying too much attention, so if there's like a smaller name company, I probably missed it. Um, yeah, Intel, I can't, I can't think of anything too much, but that's okay. Because now I've got number two. And this is, this is a thing that hasn't happened yet, but it's going to have happened by the time you're watching this, if you're watching the VOD, because it's happening overnight for me, uh, and that is Apple's WWDC, their World Wide Developer Conference. Uh, this is their big conference where they announce a brand new uh, Apple product, um, particularly... Uh, ooh, actually, are they going to announce a new product? I don't know. But they definitely lean into the software side, so usually iOS gets... Uh, um, something of note here, uh, usually, um, uh, Mac OS sometimes, sometimes Mac OS. How do I get this F? I feel like I need the last, uh, red seed in order to get some of these last ones, because they're up really high. I think I can get this F. Oh, yeah! Well, I mean, he's he's telling me he needs a cannon plant. Uh, is that supposed to be an acorn? I I think it's supposed to just be like generic seed. Acorn kind of looks pretty on point though. Um, I'm trying to find where that uh that thing is. It's the gold berry up there, which I know you need the the thingy to get up to. I don't remember seeing the, uh, anything else up there, up here. I, I need the cannon over here, where the last letter was, which is a bit painful. And then I went up there and I didn't see anything. Did I? Who knows? So it must be, like, lingering down here, maybe. Because this is the only other part of the level. There's, like, four corners to it, and that's, that's kind of it. Hmm... Curious. I need a cannon plant. What's this music? What's this like? It's it's some form of, of European dance. Like to some extent. Yeah, no, nothing's up there. You got the, the, the harvester thing over there. My best invention yet. And there's the eye. And you can definitely get the eye, but... Oh, yeah. There are announcers of the background music in Ant's life. <laughs> exactly. I need a cannon Hey, this is, this is, you know, like, peak. There's... This must be a bad rip. This must be a bad rip of a PS1 game. 
if it's cutting out with the wrong music, like, repeatedly now. Uh, oh, I did get up there. Okay. And that's the Nan line, which conveniently has gotten me up there. So, cool. This is gonna work. That's, that's what hurts about this game. It's that, like, there's only two things that make it a bug's life. The, the fact that you play as a guy who's voiced by the main guy in the bug's life and his, looks like him and his name like him and general plot points of the film and also the full motion video. Okay, three things. Come on. I want the eye. Oh, gosh. It's just because we've got these like weird flowers in the way. Alright. Whoa. That's a new one. But where is the red? Because yeah, you do need the cannon. You do need the cannon to get up there. So the only thing I can think of is that the red is just casually behind this, like, wood. And I've just been, you know, casually ignoring it the whole time, but no. Because the worst part is that, I, and I do remember getting stuck on this level as a wee, long, uh, wee young Lindo Pop. Uh, is that the term? <laughs> Dude, I don't know. Uh, but I do remember not knowing where to go in this level. And I'm playing it now and I'm going, I can't see the last token that I need in order to finish the level. I don't know if I should blame draw distance on this one or not, but I swear, like, have have any of you guys seen the token? I, I'm just blanking out. I'm going, huh? I need a cannon. What token? What token? Yeah. This is good for that house. It's okay. You can jump on my tummy. I am deeply concerned that I'm not able to find this. Like, yeah, 100%. If, if you're seeing stuff up there, then yeah, of course. We forgot the telescope. Just to, just to confirm that the only things that are up here is the last thingy and four seeds, which might be a bit terrifying because I have... Oh no, 46. I'm good. Alright, so the last seeds are up there. Uh, we've got the letter over there, and then it's just find all the enemies over here. I don't see any anything over there. This is like a salad of like visual, you know. It's not like chilling above here, is it? Oh, that's a skybox that doesn't quite pan. Uh, along with the background of smoothness. I need a cannon plant. I wonder if that's like an, uh, an official Pixar render, the background, or whether they drew it. Was that it? Is that, have I been walking past that the whole time? And I've just been like, oh, I don't know where it is. So the question is, how to get it. <laughs> this music is so unfitting. I think this is what I gotta do. Whoop. Whoop. Got it. Alright. So now... Uh... Let's get the gold berry, just so I'm getting the gold berry. Alright, alright. <laughs> Speed run. Quick run. Because I do want to get this game done, uh, this stream. Alright, so this is basically a weird thing where you spit yourself in it and it spits you out and then you can kill everything because now I've got the gold berry. What a great feeling. Just who just, who decided the gold berry? Who said yes, here's a berry that like 
just is so acidic that anything that touches it just not only dies, but dies forever. Its children cease to exist. It renders the species ex like extinct. Absolute annihilation. Anything that touches it. Well, except for vital NPCs, of course. So, uh, what a wonderful power-up that is. Um, yeah, who who had Traveler's Tale? It was like, ah, oh, yeah, it's Goldberry. I'm even curious, like, how much of this game existed before they toned it into a Bugs Life kind of game. I feel like they toy around with a lot of ideas before they, um, you know, commit to whatever licensed property that they end up actually committing to. Um... Which is, it's always a fun, a fun, like, what-if discussion. Um... Do I still have to plant there? Yeah, I do. Because I'm gonna need to... Go up one ledge. And I don't quite have... Oh, so this was the trick. This was the trick. Uh, except that's a seed, so I can't necessarily test it out. Um... Oh, well. Oh, there we go. I'll show off the one thing that I saw online. I was just like, what? what is this as a, as a trick? Why, why can you pull it off? I'm gonna continue to not use that item. Just continue killing things. Come on, get, get him. There we go. Man over here, there. Get him too. Get him. Go. This is gonna work. Whoa. Yeah. There we go. Bye bye, buddy. Alright, so I need that and then I need another seat, so let's bring this other seat back. Because I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this one up a ledge. Remember I am. Ooh. That ain't happening. Uh, I know there's one on top of the ledge that I'm about to go to, but I'm also curious if it's the other one. Wait, well, you have 69 followers? I do have 69 followers. Yay! Uh, congrats to that last guy for being follower 69. Way to make it happen. <laughs> um, alright. So here's the trick. Have that, and I don't know if I'm getting rid of it. Uh... So I have both of these, and there's the music again. So if you have dandelion, oh, this is gonna work. If you have the dandelion and then try and go into the the thingy, it spits you out while you're still holding it. And yeah, I can technically hover like to some crazy angles with this. I'm missing one enemy. I'm missing one enemy. Where could he be? Where could he be? There he is. Okay. All good. All good. Sixty-nine followers, man. I remember um, on YouTube. What's that? I remember having like. I don't. I don't know particularly like how fast my YouTube subscriber count like went up. It's at this weird point where it's like I don't know like why. <laughs> I'm amazed how many people stayed subscribed to me while I wasn't posting anything. Okay, I gotta be careful not to pick that up. Okay, now. I'm good. There we go. So uh, yeah, that's that's the level. We now have the bits of bird. So I think the plot of the film is that they the circus people. Actually, I don't even know who comes up with the idea, but uh, point is, they they go, "Hey, grasshoppers hate birds. So if we make a fake bird, will we be able to scare off the grasshoppers?" Which is a very admirable idea, I guess. Um, sure, I guess we'll go with that. Um, I feel like why why 
time to cut this part. I'm doing it. I, I'm keeping it in for Twitch and I'm cutting it for the VOD because I know I'm not going to be able to, like, it takes like a short second to skip the cutscene anyway. I can't do it in real time unless I just killed the stream. I might as well just do it all in post. Um, so, which is, it's not too bad because I've always been recording um, these locally um, as I've been doing them in case this stuff happened. Um, or if a Twitch export failed or whatever. If something happened, I always have the backup of being, oh, I locally recorded it. Um, and on top of that, I split the the intermission music, the audio for in-game and my mic so that I can go, oh, like audio in-game got copyrighted in this one part or the intermission music got copyrighted in this part and I can just go, kill that, change the video because the video is only one stream. Ugh. That... That is terrifying, just coming out and going, hello, kids. Jeez. Well, at least it's this guy and not Woody Allen. Oh, Woody, Woody Allen's not got anything with kids. It's, uh... It's, uh, just a large number of, uh, young yeah. wives, I think. Just need to get to the bird. So, this is the obligatory, uh, tall level. Also, you got these scary looking thing in the top of the screen, eternally tall level. Hey, every 3D platformer needs a level that just goes up. Like, really up, for some reason. I don't know why, but I have to do it. Uh, that is a wonderful seed that I don't think I ever have found a use for. Because it's forced to be on the... On the, uh... The whirlwind one. So, yeah, so the gimmick with this level is that there's a tall tree and you climb up it for things and there's a lot of seeds around the outside that I can't particularly get, but how nice of them that I see this. Well, for a moment. Because I can't get the other one. Can't. Oh, I can. Nice. Get rid of that. Oh, what? What a jerk. Oh. Come on, come on. Whoa. I don't know why my, my momentum gets killed as I like bounce on it. There we go. Oh, oh, I'm on it, I'm on it. It's cool. It's cool. Take it. Alright, now let's back up. Let's get these. Can I reach this with uh, this? Because all this effectively does is that this is uh, the, the third tier of the green just lets you go up like the same height as the second tier, but from a standstill. I've got all these seeds around the outside, but not a drop to drink. Um, this is not a leg up the thing. You know what this reminds me of? Uh, the last time I played a tall tree level was a Xenoblade, the original. It's got a horrendously tall tree segment, and then it's got a fast travel system so you can go up to the top. Oh boy, Xenoblade. Alright, and that's the gold berry, but... Oh, can I get can I get the next one? Can I get the next one of this? I can, nice. Okay, cool. Can I get the one after that? Oh. I think they knew. Uh, I'm gonna pick up these seeds, just so I know... That I've been here. I don't understand my logic on that one. <laughs> oh, there's actually acorns in this game. Oh, well. There you go. Also, thank you for saying that while I haven't climbed up the, the tree yet, but sure. Alright, so now I got that. I think I gotta back up such that I can get the dandelion. Do I even need it? Do I even need the the cannon on this level? Just need to get to the front. I think I need it for this in particular. This okay, so now I got the dandelion. Now I'm gonna go back around. I think this is gonna be a fun level because I know that they're gonna have the um the other colored berries, and I'm gonna accidentally walk into it and butcher up my gold berry there. But, you know, 
such is the way of life. Alright, so this is what I was thinking, is that if I go this, and then if I can reach that, there we go. There's the music, there's the intro music. Why does it play this? It must, it must be leaking the, um, the, the, the cue timings. Because I assume it's, it's doing like red, well maybe, I don't know actually. But I was assuming it's like, oh, it's probably doing like the Red Book audio system of basically, it's a CD from track two onwards and it's game on, as binary in track one. And, uh, you can easily just open up the disc and treat it as music, except then you can physically treat track one as something. Um, and it must be like, oh, well, maybe it's got a, you know, the, the length of the songs a bit off. But it's interesting because it's been starting all the music generally on point. I just don't know why it's stuck with that one. Maybe it's an American game thing? Can someone, like, confirm? Like, does your US copy of the game do this? Like, your legitimate US copy? Who knows? How nice of them to give me the gold berry like this early on as well. Like, I have not encountered any of the rest of the level, but here I am destroying all the wildlife already. And meanwhile, they've got the, the one harvester thing like right there, if you cared enough to, to get it. None of these levels are designed to, like, really benefit from that instead of the gold berry. So... Like, if they wanted to make it neat, they would make a level that doesn't have the gold berry, and you just have to kill enemies with that. But, off the top of my head, and granted, this is level 11. There's another boss level after this one. And then there's two levels and a boss level. And yes, I did just shoot the acorn. Alright, let's go up the, the tree. How bad can this be? Probably, I'm gonna fall really far. Breaking news, a single ant. Some <laughs> man is eliminating all wildlife. Legit, these ants are just chilling. They're not even just chilling, they're devising a plan to stop everyone from being killed. And these, like, wasps, these mosquitoes, these ants are going... Sorry, not... Well, like, actually, yeah, wait a minute, there's other ants. Isn't that weird? This ants is an enemy in a bug's life. You ever play Tomb Raider 4? Yeah, it's a bit easier than this game. Maybe I gotta jump higher up. Oh. That like smoking, but swinging. Round and round we go. There we go. First try. Yeah. So it's at this point, as you're going along, you gotta watch out for these weird little ant things. I don't know. Damn! I could use your help. Here we go. Don't these things fly? Dim, give ant a lift. That was a good jump cut. Uh, so the whole point is, yeah, there's five of those up the level, and you gotta get them all. And that's it. Uh, I'm gonna save that one. Uh, for lucky last, because I don't trust me <laughs> walking on any of this without falling off. So I'm gonna pick that one up last. I assume the level will end right afterwards. And if not, then oh boy, I gotta climb the tree again. Or maybe Just I save the top one. To I don't know. Burn. Whoa. Getting over it. But this is a getting over it level. <laughs> and now I'm back to the vine or the rope. You know, as someone who has not played getting over it, I feel kind of, you know, glad that my sanity is still intact. Because doesn't the game just, like, kick you back down, like, if you actually beat it? Thanks, Rosie. Uh, which is a wonderful, perfect segue. I, I mentioned, I mentioned Apple. I don't know a thing about Apple. They're just announcing some stuff. Um, I might as well just, like, finish off with that one. So, <laughs> such that I can do your perfect segue. That's the thing. I gotta watch out that I don't pick up an old berry. Um, so, uh... Yeah, with Apple, uh, I don't expect any new products beyond maybe uh, they sh talked about the iMac, but I think they showed that off. I think that's already done. Uh, maybe there's a new MacBook. It's tough with Apple. It's it's tough for me because I'm like I like my iterative products, but it's uh, uh, yeah WWDC. Um, 
yeah, I, like, I mean, I'm gonna be excited. I, I'm definitely gonna look at it, but I'm also like, I don't know whether Apple's gonna announce anything that's not just a sequel to a previous product. Um, I'm looking forward to it though, like, because they, if there's one thing, I love their presentations. And they, they make, like, reasonably exciting presentations, they talk about, like, it is the same, like, you know, rigmarole every time, like, something's always, like, two or, you know, 1.8 times faster than the last one, or better battery life or something. I'm like, how, how many years have we had, like, the battery life impre increasing 1.8 times that we're now at 13 hours, like... <laughs> What happened? You think we would have reached that after like three years? I don't know what's going on there. Um, okay, let's get that eye. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Big ass screens with all the squares. Yep. It's definitely like, if there's one thing, Apple has created like the worst. Well, it's saying what? Yeah, oh, exactly, exactly. Oh, like um, like dust resistant HDR is like an interesting one. It's like HDR on a phone. I feel like it's it's one of the last places, a place that varies in lighting so hard <laughs> that the effect of HDR is so weak when when you've got your lighting just like going off. All of that. It's um, ah, oh, I forgot, I forgot the same another one. There's, there's another thing like that. I like the spider. Thank you, spider. Helpful spider. Well, that's the last enemy. So, that. Um, note how doesn't... Well, okay. Time to get the seeds. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That, the worst part is that there's use cases of that, as in like, sorry, not use cases, there's examples, like there's a lot of people who do legitimately use one device, and that one device better do everything that they should, um, so I, I kind of feel for those people, is there, I know there's one person I'm missing, but I'm wondering, because there's a seed still lingering, and I don't know where the seed is, because that actually should have been the end of the level. Oh, do I drop? Because I don't think I'm missing anything on the way down. If anything, it's a bit harder to see something in a, in a gap. Well, there's the L. Wait a minute. Maybe I should take the L. Oh. Wait, there's a K! Oh! Oh! What is this? You know? Oh, I mean... <laughs> I, I don't feel too bad if I was to pick up the, the blueberry now. Um, so yeah, definitely, uh, I'm looking forward to, to Apple. Uh, on the subject of uh, getting over it with Bennett Foddy, uh, do you remember in Devolver's E3 conference last year, getting down with it with Bennett Foddy? Uh, or something. That was an amazing, like, trip and call. I loved it. Um, and that is a beautiful segue to E3 20. <laughs> As a good meme, they, in they introduced, like, a bunch of, uh, like, games that obviously didn't exist. Um, <laughs> and getting down with Bennett Body was such a, such a good one for me. Um, and they actually, I think they did get him just to, like, go on camera and just say, What? Like, just, just something like that, so... I appreciate they committed to the bit. Uh, all of Devolver's conferences have been, um, absolutely great. I, uh, have really enjoyed... Like, okay, if there's one thing, I love... Like, I, I enjoy Apple's conferences because it's, like, the most professional I will see a, a product be, like, announced. I love Devolver's because it's the most un unprofessional. And yet, like, I will know... I say I'll know everything that Devolver are doing, and then it's like, you know, what, what did they release last year? Uh, was there a Shadow Warrior 3? I don't know. I think that was a serious thing. Did they talk about it last year? I don't know. It did come out last year. So who knows? Alright, don't touch it. Don't touch the acorn. 
I love how I'm walking up to the top only to then forget that I've... Like, I... I <laughs> the one end is down the bottom here. Who put it? Why is there a color lamp right there? And also, maybe I should have gotten the last one at the top instead. Because now I'm at the bottom going, hmm, where, <laughs> where was the one that I missed? Ah, oh, I touched it anyways. Just need to get to the oh, well. So, yeah. Uh, there's, there's a few things E3 related that I, um, I'm kind of like looking forward to and not looking forward to. E3 is the, uh, for those who don't know, it's the general time of year where companies announce uh, a bunch of products, or, or in, in particular, video game companies announce, and I have definitely fallen from this tree branch. Dim, down here. Blueberry power. Dim or I'm, or I'm on the tree branch. Lift. So, yeah, is the level going to end on me, or do they need me to go up to the top? I think they need me to go up to the top. Well, this was quite useless of me walking that around here. Alright, time to go up the tree once more. Once more with Gusto. Um, Whoa, I don't know if it's level 13 or 14 that's like the different game. I'm remembering this off the top of my head, y'all, and I remember one of these levels being, being odd. Um, I'm gonna go and say 14 probably. I gotta be careful. Oh, um. So, yeah, it used to be a trade show. It has now become, uh, as of Nintendo in 2014 or 2013, going online only. Uh, and then they've continued doing these online only uh, presentations for multiple times a year. So, Nintendo kind of immediately, at that point on, was diminished the effects of E3. Um, must be 2014, because they had the Wii U. So, uh... And then, yeah, Sony is not doing anything this year or for E3. They're showing stuff off next month. So it's like, and so is EA. So it's just like, okay, so really we've got like a handful of players. But Nintendo classically uh, is going to show off a lot of stuff, which I think will be good. And on top of that, uh, I am looking forward to the Microsoft uh, slash Bethesda showcase because Bethesda is now under Microsoft and therefore that's going to be a gargantuan conference because if Bethesda can somehow fill an hour with stuff uh once and then really cheese it every other year uh Nintendo does the treehouse the treehouse is great and I actually I really appreciate the treehouse streams because the whole point of E3 is that not only do you have the conferences but you also have like oh my god Oh my gosh, the nature order. What? Uh, uh, sure, okay. I just, just forget how, like, you know, how power displacement is, is in this. Um... Alright, so there's, there's 50 uh, thingies. They're literally around the edge of the level. Uh, note that... Uh, you're getting thrown red berries all the time. The meme is that you have to, like he he actually says the hurt like sound when you get it. Uh, the trick is is that you've got to deal the finishing blow with the the gold berry. You will get the purples. Treehouse is where you're gonna say, oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah. So uh, I I got distracted, but yeah, the, um, yeah, the press was supposed to, like, you know, fill in the blank of going, hey, like, I get to play these demos and, and tell you how the demos work. Um, they used to do that, uh, since they can't go to any of Nintendo stuff anymore, which, yeah, uh, Nintendo does a decent job of showing them themselves, which I actually think is fine, because they don't just tell you that the game exists, they legitimately show you the game, and so you can go, oh, it, yeah, it's, it's not particularly a good game, or... Yeah, it is kind of good, like that kind of stuff. Um, I think they were incredibly gutsy in 2016 when they did the Breath of the Wild um, year. And they, they were like, we only have Breath of the Wild. And yet, 
Uh, and yeah, hidden details in the in the tree houses. Exactly. Like it, the Breath of the Wild stuff is a perfect example because, like, legitimately, if you play it, it is only the three hours like on that like plateau. But like them stopping and and really explaining the mechanics as they go along, um, and then on top of that, like going and then like do you see this like flip that I've been going around like that's like this tiny part of the map. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. You like these sprites everywhere? This is... Uh... So, so yeah, here I am going around, trying to make sure... Uh... We got the, these berries now. So, because I think this is the one seed you've got for the whole level. Uh... Oh, eh, maybe there's another red. But very slow for a boss battle, isn't it? You should get that skin looked at. I'll show Hopper how to find that. Isn't it? Like there's a boss chilling out there. Um. Yeah. So what have I written down for for some things? Uh. Oh yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Like. Like, uh, oh, I'm trying to think of another game that's like that, where it's like, yeah, there's, there's... This is, this is the me bit, though, where it's like, I have to somehow jump on top of this. Oh, that's actually not... Not particularly. This is where I'm going to burn on my life, trying to pick this up. Yeah. Oh, come on. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. Alright, now all I need is that one thing, and then I'll be good. Can I reach it from here? Oh my gosh, he's, he's, he's not letting up. Oh, oh, he bounces you as well. When... No, no, it's bad. And I upload it as well. <laughs> I don't know what's with the music. Stand still. Just let me, let me, let me hit the thing. Oh, come on. You sure you want to do this? Just, just let me jump up. Let me jump up. Please. You sure you want to do this? Oh my gosh. You know what's the best part? Like, I. You know, I, I've saved before the level, so I'm gonna have like six lives otherwise. But oh boy, no! Shut off. Walked off. You sure you wanna do this? Whoa! Please! I. He's not. He's not jumping when I want to. Okay. Okay. Now I've got it. Now I've got to get the plant, get the seat, and there I go again. How many lives do I have? Two. Ah, come on. What is this? What is this intent? Well, one, what's with the music? Just, just every time. Okay. Alright. So now, get the ants. And now I can't, like, not kill them with the gold berry. He's stun locking as well. That's the best part. As in, like, sorry. There we go. <laughs> you sure you wanna do this? You can't defeat First try. And he's actually dead. And he's really actually dead. Wow. Jeez. Um so yeah, let me get my list of E3 related notes. Never too much grain. L I K spelled what? Uh so what else did I say? Uh, there's a Battlefield 6 reveal earlier because EA uh, realized that having to show things actually okay. works sometimes. So sure. Um, my only uh, guess on this one is that uh, they're going to come up with some silly term like Levolution. 
Is that actually why the bird doesn't work? He sets it on fire? Wow. Wow. Okay. Um, and then my other pick is that they pick a Korean War setting. Um, I think that's what they're going to be going with. If it's Vietnam again, three settings. World War II, Vietnam, uh, modern. Alright, I'm gonna go grind a life for a bit. I'm just gonna boost myself up to four. So I guess that's gonna be me doing this twice. I really shouldn't have been able to burn that many lives on, on that boss, because legit, legit, I'm just like, I'm just chilling there. Can't get the seed in the right place. I know. It's pain. Now click. Ah, uh, well. Uh, there's uh, a Jeff Keighley thing. I'm looking forward to just seeing more Jeff Keighley. I, I, I have a love-hate relationship with Jeff Keighley, because it's like, I love what he does, but oh boy. Is it advertising? Like, oh boy, am I just being sold products at the Game Awards? Like, I I love the the sentiment, but it's like, jeez. Um, you know, it's, it's it's a little overwhelming at times. Like, oh yes, here we have a first reveal. Like, it's just trailers because obviously there's not enough time to have a developer. Well, actually, they do sometimes. That's, that's the whole uh, a way out. It takes two guy, you know, endearingly dismiss the Oscars on on live Twitch. Uh, I, I I love the guy. I hope he comes back um, for this just just for fun. Uh, even though I know that his game uh, it takes two is out and people actually really like it. Uh, my other uh, two picks for the Jeff Keighley thing is that they show off, because this is going to show off some indie games or whatever. I really hope that there is an indie game with a flat color art style where you do some ordinary well, tasks with physics. Um, I a lot. Like, that's the main game. There are a if lot there's one of that, I am explore. taking a shot. You know, that's that's my pick. Uh, I'm also going to say there's one roguelite. There's, this is usually a roguelite. Can you tell that it's a roguelite? Usually when it says with randomized, like, main feature. Usually that's that's the boat. Um, you gotta make sure, you know, not all things with a randomized feature are, you know, roguelites, of course. Like, um, what's a perfect example? Like, Pokemon. You know, that's, that's randomized. It's like a roguelite. Uh, hopefully well not. Done. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that, those are my picks for that. Um, Netflix is doing a thing for E3? I think it's just associated with video game tie-ins and not necessarily, like, Minecraft story mode related gameplay experiences through Netflix. Although, uh, wasn't there a Black Mirror thing that actually was, like, kind of a game? Like, as in it's a choose-your-own? Oh, yeah. I give props to Netflix for having like moments like that that do expand the the medium a bit because yeah like you know not everything on Netflix has to be presented as like the same video uh, to someone developing Netflix they would love it to be that but you know Netflix hires how many developers and uh, the site plays videos already they have to be doing something under, under the hood uh, so here we go Ant Hill Part Two it's got a comma so you know it's it's good. I still can't go over the banned words list for... Oh, there's a banned words list? You know, as in, you're not allowed to say stuff in E3 chat, or if you go on E3, you're not allowed to say certain words? You're gonna have to DM me some of those words, <laughs> rather than paste them on Twitch. Uh, save Atta from Hope yeah. You pathetic Oh yeah, the frame rate on this level was horrendous. And also, the worst part is that it's almost the first level. And you've also got to experience this wonderful jump. Is this actually like a doable jump? Oh well. Can I actually double jump off that? You can, yes! Okay. The more you know. Uh, we got rain. It's basically the first level again, though. It's just got rain and grasshoppers, I guess. Need to grow a berry shooter. Uh, so he keeps talking about a berry shooter, but who needs a berry shooter when you've got uh, this ledge lower than it was in the <laughs> in the first level? I think that was the the thing with the end of the film was that it was raining and 
like, how do you get it to... Because the rain has to be massive. And, uh... Canadian... You're not allowed to say Canadian? Just, just replace it with Canada... Uh, or... Can, can, sorry, replace it with Canadia and Canadan. There you go. Easy. Easy. Uh, or North North American. No, you're not allowed to say Canadan. Nova Scotian. You're not allowed to say that. Canada is a bit of a weird territory, not because... Sorry, sorry to, to me as someone who lives on the other side of the world, um, it's weird to me because I always feel like Canada is like... You know, it's like New Zealand. It's like, yeah, I mean, it's different, but oh my goodness, is it kind of the same place? Uh, and then they'll go, oh, there's so many differences. Like like how New Zealand has, um, uh, they got healthcare, they got way better friends than I, I'll tell you that. Uh, they pay $130 for a video game. Or is it 120 I'm pretty sure it's 130 now. Uh, C Nation above USA. Ah, oh, yes, the C Nation. <laughs> I need to grow a berry shooter. I'm trying to figure out where all the where all the items are. I guess you can get a berry shooter up here, but rain, rain, I love how you can just jump that. Uh, so we got these drippy boys. We got this thing up there. Um, I mean, ultimately, I need the gold berry. Oh wait, unless off the top of my head. Is this the level? I think this is the level. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna hold my hold my uh, statement on that one. Uh, and you'll you'll see what I mean when I get to it. Um, I guess I can max out the green, but I need a seed. This I, can use. I need a seed that I can like use this on. Um, what was that one? Well, that's anything. It doesn't move though, but... I can do this. So that's that's at least a start. Uh, I'd really like to actually like know some some Canadians. You know? Just like, you know, what's life over over there in Canada? I don't know, it just just seems interesting. It's kinda crazy as well, considering just like, you know, America's got like well, America. USA has got an incredibly high, like, population count for some reason. I don't particularly know why America is, like, that high compared to, like, so many Western countries. Uh, I can understand maybe Australia and New Zealand, because we're all the way down here, but I'm surprised that Canada is that. Um, and especially, I guess, a lot of European countries also aren't that big. But, uh, that's always a fun one. I think I've got to legitimately kill that grasshopper with something. I don't know why the music just keeps cutting in with the wrong one every so often. I think it just plays... It's a different menu track every time. Uh, I think I've actually got to, yeah, shoot him down with uh, the turret. So, look at that. They found a use. They found a use for the turret. So, I think the gimmick of this level is that you actually don't get the berries. Ever. Uh, oh, does this, does this do a thing? in the ground. Oh, because in order for me to get that up there, I need another red. It's another bug, it's a feature. Ah, I see. Uh, this, this is uh, a game with bug in the name. I'd expect to see more of them. Yeah, I'm just trying to like map out in my head, where's the remaining, where's the, the reds? Because I'm not seeing the red tokens. And, uh... I need to be able to get that one portable seat up there. There's there's one of the yellows, which I know I'm going to need. Um, and then there's another yellow. I think the yellows go up to five as well. That's the part that's a little confusing, because everything else has gone... You know, you get four tokens, or it gets a red three, because you've already got one. And then, like... Oh, well, there's the last grain, so... I guess it's that. The letters are floating up in the air. I, 
I don't suppose there's an easy ledge to, to throw this one up on. And no, you can't throw it on the, the leaves. It doesn't let you. Uh, and it's not going to let you cheese it up there. So unless unless I'm just missing, you know, the, the presence of something. And that's that's a, a red up there, isn't it? It's kind of orange, I know. And I'm, I'm absolutely butchering these jumps. So unless I can figure out how to get this guy shot from, like, a lower angle down here... Maybe I can. The portable seed. Uh, let's just go for it. Mm, needs to be on a kind of high ledge and close-ish. That's the that's the tough part. Is that within angle? Is that within angle? I think that's with an angle. I don't think it's gonna. Oh. I can think maybe like an upgrade will help me out on that one. Get him! Get him! Get him! Oh. It's just getting the other one at that point. Please get him. Uh, okay, let's keep looking around. The only thing I could think of is maybe, okay, so maybe I can bring my own thingy to get. Uh, it's clicking. It's clicking in my head. Wait, did he drop it? No, he didn't. Alright, here's something that's just clicked in my head. Hey, if there's one thing I'm actually really appreciating about this game, it's just the fact that, like, like generally I have to kind of, you know, double take every level and really think about it. I'm seeing this up here. Can I reach that? That, that seems like a very yes. So now I can get the super jump. What am I going to use the super jump on? I assume to pick up something. Alright. So now... I think I can pick up a turret from somewhere else. I believe that's the end of the level, by the way. So if I have uh, a thingy up there, then, or rather, something to shoot him up the top there, then that'd be it. Uh, I don't think I can quite get that one. Oh, I feel like I should be able to. I also feel like I should be able to get that. My my plan is slightly out the window. Because I can't get a seat up here, so this needs to legitimately, like, <laughs> be accessible. Um, hmm. I, that doesn't look like I can cheese it. So, where's, where's a, a method of getting this up here, then? Uh... I was expecting to grab one of those tokens, and then my turret would be able to reach the distance, and that would let me get another turret, I guess. I don't, yeah, I, like, I don't suppose they're just expecting me to jump there, because that seems kind of crazy. And there's the music again. And there's the grasshopper on my jump. Oh my gosh, just let me, let me do my jump. Let me do my jump. Ugh. Okay, real talk. I'm hitting X sometimes as he's like walking like down a slope and he doesn't jump because he doesn't jump in midair. And it's kind of aggravating. Oh. I, I have the feeling that I can jump from this like little part. This little like curve. Maybe just the top. Maybe just the top. Does this even go uphill? I feel like it's too far off at this point. You have to jump uh, in the leaves on the left. 
Um, the big leaf there, because there's a thing on it. You can't jump on any of these other leaves. They seem to have a hitbox on them. And I don't feel like I'm able to bring a seed up this ledge. Uh, these ones, well, mainly because I don't have the, um, propellery one. And then I realize off that I'm an idiot. Because guess what is within plain view right here? Alright, alright, time to time to, to bring the beef. Uh, I don't feel like I need either of that one actually. I think I just need to bring the, the portable one wherever that's gone. Wait, can I jump for that F as well? I feel like I can just jump for it. Oh, that's just slightly out of the way. Alright. Where did I put the turret? I brought it all the way back up to the top, didn't I? Nice. There we go. I was like, come on, baby. You gotta help me out here. That was a good guess, actually. <laughs> um, so I think I do need two seeds. Um, but I have to awkwardly backtrack. I think I need one seed to get the yellow. Uh, because given this, like, you know, well, when I can 100% jump on top of the, the thing. I like how these letters are just all accessible with this one power up. Oh. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. All right. And then I can just. Oh, what's the what's the last light? Yeah, it was just sitting there. Nice. There we go. Whoa. And I jumped up. Nice. Cool. All right. So. Put that up there, and I don't need to activate that one. Bring the seed up the ledge, and put it over here, yes. So now I can do this. I need another one. crying on the inside right now. I don't suppose this one's any particularly easy. No, because I can already jump up there. I could jump up there without needing even the super jump. Okay, I'm scratching my head going, if I can't pick either of those up... Where else do I go? There must be one thing sitting somewhere. So unless I've wandered right off and it's been in plain sight over, all the time over here, which it isn't necessarily. He's got a seed, which, oh no, I do need it. Oh, I, I'm going to kick myself on that one because I actually did need that second seed. Oh. <laughs> the second seed the whole time. Hey, oh. I'm gonna put this at the furthest possible distance away from me. Where did it go? Where did I drop the seed? I, I think I dropped it just like behind the, the hill here. Jeez. Okay. Uh, there it is. Uh, so what else have I got predicted for E3? I might as well run through the rest of these. Uh... Ubisoft, the, oh, this, 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 um, I don't know who, how to pronounce the name, uh, because if I say coach, then people are going to say that's not it. It should be coach, or it should be cock, or I don't know, I don't know it's something. Um, <laughs> uh, they, they, uh, own the publishing rights to Dying Light, so they've got that, and I believe, like, they've got Deep Silver under their boat. It's a big conglomerate, uh, but sure. Uh, I don't particularly know anything apart from, I hope people pronounce... Coach, coach. I hope people pronounce it weird on stream. That's always good fun. 
Uh, and I'm also looking forward to uh, if Dying Light 2 gets more of an announcement because I believe they showed a teaser for it in 2018 and it's 2021 20, now and it's not 2018. So, yeah. Uh, Ubisoft, by the way. Uh, great segue. Um, Beyond Good and Evil 2, which they showed a million years ago. Uh, sea of Thieves, which they showed a million years ago, and we know it's been delayed till next year. Uh, then they do a live stream. Uh, oh, did they already do it? Did they already? Oh, did they already show this stuff off? Because I've been out of the loop. If they did, then uh, whoops! In that case, they probably showed a bunch of stuff. Um, I, th I was thinking they were doing stuff during E3, so sometime next week. Um, and, 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 uh, I guess for reference, some of the stuff may actually not be happening until after, um, next week as well. So, like, I might, I might be able to do another stream before Nintendo stuff. Um, we'll see. But I feel like dropping them all now would be kind of exciting. Just because then I can talk about the things that have happened. And then continue on, because I seem to get distracted so easily. That I can, you know, I have a list of 20 things and somehow hit, like, four of them. In the time of two hours. Um, so, yeah, I also hope that they keep showing off Just Dance. Um, oh, the frame rate absolutely does tug on this game after a while. Whoa! So this this is actually the worst freaking, like, very spot in the whole game. Because it's gotta get up there. And not fall. Let's move it, like, ever so slightly closer. Um, yeah, so I hope they show off more Just Dance. Oh, it's good. Uh, as someone who really liked Rayman, I hope Rayman. But I don't know if they will show off Rayman again. Um, we'll see. Uh, what else have I got? Rainbow Six Siege. Okay, real talk. Some of this is still, like, it's like, a shareholder conference. As in, they will talk about Rainbow Six Siege and talk about the new things that they're adding to it, and I'm, like, maybe this is me out of touch, but I'm also, like, you know, you show off a new operator, and it's like, can you just show this off, like, to your fans? Like, do you have to show this off at your Ubisoft big press conference to show off the same stuff that you may be showing off throughout the year? That seems a bit, uh, bit, uh, Debbie down or on, on on that kind of stuff because then on the flip side it's like oh Nintendo's showing off a Smash character wow all right so that's that's the item you want this weird purple thing it's only gonna appear in this level and you're like what does it do so I think I only need one portable seed <laughs> but here comes the pain find where the enemies appear. Uh, take a hit because why not? Because take two hits because why not? Take three hits because why not? I'm abysmal at this game. Activate it. And it, it didn't kill him. What? It, it counts as like a gold berry explosion. It's amazing and it's the only way to kill all 15 enemies on this level. This is why the grasshoppers have rather wide, like, you know, paths. They also love how it briefly shows up your gold buried stuff. They also get very attracted to it. And it is this legitimately taking, like, two hits? Or is it just because he was off screen? <laughs> He's very dead, though. Um. Yeah, it's a, it's a shame that Rayman is gonna end up in that perpetual fate. Granted, Rayman was already in that perpetual fate with the Raving Rabbits kind of thing, because it kind of showed that, um, uh, you know, the marketing for the Rabbits was so harsh. And then on top of that, like, it was a rather unfortunate way that they just, you know, ended up turning the game into a minigame collection, which is, is fine enough, but I'm kind of writing it so hard that you turn Rayman into a rabbit in the second game, and then he's a bit of a... I don't want to say a laughing stock, because, I mean, Rayman has never been the most seriously taken game franchise out there, but... It's a bit bizarre, just considering that Rayman 2 is one of... 
would you say it's one of the finest platformers of the the late 90s? It's it, it seems to transcend its era a bit. It feels relatively very modern. Um, I think Rayman 3 is also quite a good game. There we go. Man, good job hitting the enemies. There we go. At least it's only 15 enemies? It's, it's definitely a fair bit of effort. Well, they do only take one hit, and it's just dumb luck every other time. Whoops. <laughs> Alright, is that supposed to be an ant, or is it supposed to be like a termite, or something? Like, like, not quite ant. It's a real roundabout way of killing enemies though, but, you know, I'll take it. You got your level gimmick, you wrote it, it's all fine. Uh, so what else? Um, last thing for Ubisoft I've got is uh, Assassin's Creed. See how it goes. Well, hello was well received, wasn't it? Or was it just, you know, critics well received, like that kind of stuff? Also, I'm, I'm gonna make fun of IGN all I want. It's like, oh, oh, I'm a game reviewer and I played the game for like, you know, most of the way through and I didn't encounter any issues. It's like, oh yeah. Like, I feel like game journalists seem to always have a general moment every year where there's something they just all do that's just not representative of what, like, you know, the average player experiences. Uh, Cyberpunk was the perfect example where a lot of them said, like, so many bugs, give the game a good score, and then people go, I can't play this game. <laughs> it physically doesn't work. And, uh, what do we do when we have the game's media having a wildly different experience with games than the general population has. It's like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm tugging my, tugging my, uh, my, uh, shirt collar on that one. Uh, so I re- and, and I have a, a rather large issue with how a lot of longer games nowadays, um, and especially because Back when, like, it used to be RPGs, it was like, that was the RPG slot. Like, you would spend the time reviewing an RPG. It'd be really long. If, uh, following an Italian channel that does gameplay, before Cyberpunk, they did Kingdom Come Deliverance. How'd they, how'd they approach that one? I follow my boy, um, <laughs> videos of bug collections. Uh, I gotta look out, because there's two more enemies in this level, and I know that there's the one at the end. But I'm curious where the other one that I've missed is, unless it's just along the way on this, like, lip here. Uh, might be that. I think it's just those two. Wait, how do you get him with the thing? Unless I see an ant somewhere along here, in which case, oh, okay. Or I can pull up my old Let's Play and just, like, double check. Whistle, 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 uh, mute sight just so I don't hear it, uh... Yeah, what did I do on this one? Hey, tuck and roll. He really likes tuck and roll every time he sees him though, doesn't he? Dude, I love how so low quality my Let's Play is that I can't even tell. Oh, does he get 15 out of 15? No, that's five. That's five out of fifteen. Alright. Yeah, sure. Sure thing. Old timey video of me. Thirteen? Okay. Another part. Because I cut in the middle of the, the videos there. Uh Get him! Yeah. Oh no, he gets he gets fifteen before he he 
fights the last thing. I think it's because you can't reach them. Yeah, okay. Uh, let me tap back in. Uh, so yeah, videos about collections and hilarious. Dude, I, I mean... Say what you will about Crobe Cat, because he obviously, you know, kind of represents games in uh, a lot of the worst lights possible, but his stuff is very entertaining, and I kind of feel like, you know, that kind of representation of a game is uh, a valid point. There we go. Okay. Alright. None of, none of that weird whatever. We're done with the level. And I can continue on with everything. Uh, and that's level 13. Uh, only thing left is to uh, take down the last guy, which you have to do with the third level, I believe, because it's got to be able to shoot up. But you don't have to kill him. What is this? What is this weak stuff? One more attempt. You gonna do it? You get there you go. I'll teach you. I'll teach you. I'll teach you. I'll teach you. He's gonna teach me. I'll teach you. There you go. <laughs> oh, I might <laughs> I have to walk into her in order to end the level as well, jeez. Apparently I'm, go I'm going to get taught it. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> so, okay. alright, let me see if I can run to the remaining things. So, uh, Gorilla Collective, uh, I don't know at all what to expect. Humble has shown some good things and some really weird things. I thought I killed this guy because he blew up. Oh well. Uh, the more I look at that, the more I think it's just a french fry. It is. Man, oh, the slapstick punchline is just cut off. Unless you're watching on YouTube later, in which case, the whole thing is cut off. Thanks, YouTube. Appreciate it. So, uh, then, yeah, so, then there's, yeah, so, Microsoft Bethesda, uh, I'm thinking they are bound to show off something Forza related. Although, Forza 4 seems to just be existing in this weird perpetual bubble where they've done their season pass, but then they introduce, like, a cyberpunk tie-in car? Rawr. Rawr. Wow, this water just looks so late 90s. It's been a lot. So this is the this is the thing. This level, level fourteen, plays yeah. nothing like the rest of the game because it's an on rails segment. Uh, you can technically turn around, but the goal is, and you can also like fly up. Like yeah, you just you just can't go back, uh, and you have to hope that you're going in the right direction. But the goal, I think, is well, the goal is to hit the end. Can I actually like turn around by doing this? No, no, don't turn around by doing that. You can kind of loop back on on stuff. So that's where you, you got to get the gold berry. Oh, hidden geometry though. So this, yeah, this is the fun part, is that you've basically got to like, loop-de-loop. -loop. You gotta just go. Alright, so let me get the gold berry. Uh, I'm not running, I'm not running. I'm not running. Okay. <laughs> and of course you can't kill him. That'll be fun to get back later. So I know I'm going backwards right now. Um, go watch out for the other berries. Uh, at some point I'm going to reach the beginning of the level and be like, oh, okay, well, man, I can just keep doing that. But yeah, you've effectively got to run down every path and just pick up everything, which is rather irritating. And also watch out for the beginning of the level. Whoa. Oh. 
I think you do just... Uh, when I had Games Pass, I tried Forza. Ah, oh, it's a shame that your PC didn't like it. It's... it's... Forza 4 is... good fun. I... I have my quirks with, uh, how, like, dry and loose it's, a uh, you know, it's effectively, like, just open world fluff, the game. But, I think it is presented in such, like, a very smooth way. It's got a charm of that one. Um, I think I'm enjoying 3 a little bit more, because I find the, the, the field is, or the world is a bit more, um, exciting to drive around in. Um, only a little bit. It's virtually the same game otherwise. I think it's, oh, it's, it, I don't think it's also on the game bars anymore. Not, not anymore. Whoop. Whoop. Uh... How do you get that guy in, like, any amount of time? I'm gonna keep looking around. I'm gonna keep getting him. And that one lost, apparently. Oh, I hit a drop of water. Alright, there we go. This is going to be the fun thing, is hoping that I end up... Oh, there we go. Fell again. Uh, this is going to be the fun thing, hoping that I actually get... Uh, all the, the goodies before I end the level. Because there's not really any way to know, is there? He's throwing a lot of the berries, though. He's really going. Uh, what else have I got? Um, maybe Gears of War? That seems to be Microsoft's, like, lovable franchise of the now. Credits music. I don't know where I have been and where I haven't been, and I'm hoping that that was... I'm pretty sure I, I didn't, yeah, I didn't hit a split. I just missed one of those, and then... So, I'll go left, and then I'll move back around. Oh! This is the L. What's the L? Jeez. How much level is left? Oh, turn around. Ah, it's one grain. Oh! What do, you, what do you do now? Oh! Click! Where's your turning circle? You, okay, you can't move back, but you can go left. So if your left is good enough, I guess it's good. Latest Gears is Gears 5? Yeah. I. The one thing that threw me off with Gears 5 as a, like, a naming thing... I'm just double checking. i moving around. The one thing that threw me off is the fact that it's Gears 5 and not Gears of War 5. Uh, but as someone who's never played a Gears of War... I don't know, man. Once you hit five in a franchise, it's kind of like, mm, what do we do? Oh, I definitely missed an enemy. Whoa. Am I going to burn all my lives here? Maybe. This is going to be kind of interesting if I do burn all my lives here. <laughs> Jeez. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? They hit 20, 20 of them. <laughs> Meanwhile, FIFA legitimately has had like 25 games. Uh, what else have I got? I've got Doom. I know that they've finished their, like, Deluxe Edition, but they seem to add in, like, new cosmetics, so I'm curious, uh, if they're gonna go full Battle Pass on it, because, uh, if anyone, ex you know, realized from Doom 2016, and especially Quake Champions, is that they're 100% chasing trends when it comes to the multiplayer on any id game now, which is really bizarre. Oh. No, 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 there's actually termites. Like, why is this something in the level? Is that actually the end of the level? 
Because, like, that's a real... That's a real, like, cheeky, like, spot. To, like, cut down. Oh, and this guy... No! Gotta do another lap. And I can't get the Earthworm. He's just... He's... Mmm. They should make a fee for a freemium game. There we have card packs. I have the feeling they should. I... I... You know what's actually a real interesting one? The fact that uh, NBA 2K21 is was free on the Epic Game Store for a point in time. Um, because that kind of shows... Because it's not even like, oh, you discount the last one, or... The next one's not coming for another three months. At, at least, as long as they release at the same time, roughly every year. Like... And, and yeah, they've got card packs and all that stuff. They feed off the microtransaction model in that game. Uh, but, like, it, it to the point that they can give out the game for free, and it's probably not a concern. And it's, that's such a crazy, like, situation to be in. Um... Granted, I know that there's a few, like, games on Epic where it's like, they are not being sold through Epic until they become a freebie game. Uh, that one's an interesting point, I guess, but... Just, I can't get that Earthworm, he's just... He's just inaccessible like that. Jeez. I, oh, I'm off. This is a rather unfair level, isn't it? There we go. Okay, well... I've got two more hits until I legitimately game over. Free to play model for FIFA makes so, so much sense. Uh, I'm actually going to pause to read that one because they basically changed a few items on the latest one. News outlets noticed and gave it a lower score because they just copied... Oh, exactly. I, I don't know who, but like they legitimately were like, if EA is going to copy-paste their game, I'm going to copy-paste my review. Dang it! Ah, oh. <laughs> Legitimately game over. So, for those of you watching at home, you get you get this cutscene where he's like, you think this is a game you just lost? That's 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 your cutscene, and then you get this downside. Uh, it could have been IGN. I think it was IGN, actually. And then, yeah, if you game over, you've got a... Skip the intro videos again and jump right into it, which means I've got to attempt that level again, but at least I've got a better idea of what's going on. That being said, I was right near the end. And that's a little, little disconcerting. Little disconcerting. But, you know, such is the way. And you've got to manually load your game again. If you're copy-pasting it, you might as well do a single version and update it. Perhaps, yeah. But in the same way that game developers, uh, well, certain sports game developers seem to be reusing the same game over and over again. And this is coming from the guy who has played every F1 game from 2010 to 2018 inclusive. Uh, knowing full well that they are the same game uh, for a few years in a row. Um, I'm playing through 2019, it seems to be quite different, but I can guarantee 2020 is not going to be that different. Um, so the gold berry was, uh, it was on the right. Oh my gosh. How many lives do I have to burn? Five, effectively. It's just cruel, you just hit like one thing and then you're, you're, you're gone. Pass it already. I don't remember it being after three gaps. Oh my gosh. There we go. Let's only get the gold berry and leave in peace. Yeah. Uh, what else have I got? Um, Alright, so I, I expect there to be a big announcement of a very notice, uh, sorry, no notable uh, game or game franchise that is now coming to the Xbox Game Pass. Uh, so the last time they did that, I remember, was uh, Yakuza. 
And, uh, people thought it was a- Oh, man, very dead. Very dead. People thought it was a big deal that Yakuza was coming to the Game Pass, like, all of them. Uh, and it probably is, but it's also just like, eh, it's there for the Game Pass, like... Uh, honestly, like, if you're a big fan of this franchise, have you not already played it? Like, I- I find that's a weird thing about a lot of these. To, to me, it's just like, well, as someone who hasn't played it, I hope it's good. It's, it's that. I don't know. Maybe I'm a bit cynical when it comes to all this stuff. Uh, let's see. Microsoft is bound to talk about the new Psychonauts because... Uh, Double Fine owned by Microsoft now? I think they are. So I get to, I get to go with that one. Um, which I think will be fine. I, the gameplay thingy that they showed a bit earlier, um, like months back, uh, Looks fine, and honestly, it harkens back to a time when uh, games were a bit simpler. Perhaps I should play the first Psychonauts on stream, and then people will tell me off for not playing Psychonauts before. Game Fast feels like it's aimed at people who don't play games much. Uh, definitely. I. It's bizarre to me because, like, I don't see the value proposition as a developer, um, unless Microsoft pays you a ton. And in the same way as like the Epic Games Store, it's like, well, the money is coming from the fact that Epic themselves are shelling a lot of money. Um, the Game Pass feels like the same boat, where it's like, you know, if I really enjoy these games, I would prefer buying them such that I own them for a longer period of time than my ownership of the Game Pass. I'm not controlling how fast I go, by the way. Just sometimes, sometimes I go fast and sometimes I don't. Uh, I think I'm actually good for this one. Alright. If I go into life, I burn one. Alright. Uh, yeah, oh, it's it's a bit it's a bit annoying. It's a bit annoying. Oh, oh, he's in front of me. And I missed one. I gotta drive back for it. I think the worst part is that I know I'm gonna, like, miss one on the very, like, last run. Oh, or I can just start back from the beginning and have the music reset on me. Okay, off the tip of my head, I was kind of going like, oh, you know what I appreciate about A Bug's Life is that it's got more variety and more gameplay aspects in it compared to the Toy Story game that I had played earlier. But now I'm kind of going, well, at least the Toy Story doesn't peeve me off. Except for the ledge grabbing, but we'll get to that. Like, like, why? What am I hitting? I'm hitting like a leaf. I'm a little termite, apparently. Maybe you should teach me something, you know? Oh. And the worst part is that the whole level looks the same. So I'm going to do a, like a lap around just to ensure that this is not a path that I went down. I think it was. Oh, well, this is the one grain that I miss. Uh, what's that? Oh yeah, and then this narrow path, yeah. Go up the eye, go up the eye. Yeah. Ooh, really? Really? I'm not gonna get him? Alright, back around, back around. Back. Oh, that's that's not it. That's not it. Uh, oh. I think what's painful is the fact that that keeps happening. Like me just hitting random objects and then it's like back to the start. And now you've lost where you are. I think I've got, uh, it's the narrow path. That's, that's where I've died, but... Jeez, oh my gosh, like just, mmm. I don't think they really playtested this one, did they? It just, it exists. 
It's going. Oh boy. Alright, power up. <laughs> it keeps going. Um, Alright, the other things I've got. Uh, Elder Scrolls Online expansion, because Elder Scrolls Online still exists. Perhaps they'll also show off a new expansion for the card game, because people still play the Elder Scrolls Legends. I know. It outlasted Artifact. I think everything outlasted Artifact, actually. Alright. Brain. Enemy. I would love the invol instead of hitting every single object on the way. Alright. Well, they actually full health me, so that's that's actually way good timing. Alright, but now I've got to make sure... Yeah, okay, so at least the end of the level is over there. Alright, I got the K. And there's one more enemy that I know I missed over in this direction. There he is. That's it. That's it. Bail. Bail out of the level. Just, just call it. Call it. <laughs> Disregard whatever the heck was happening at the end of that level. At least it's a level I don't have to think on. You know? My brain sometimes hurts. But that is a non-hurt brain level. Um, and then the only other things I've got listed are Fallout 76. Because people still play that. Uh, will they show off something Starfield related? I think it's been two or three years. Maybe it's about time. Three years, I think. Um, and uh, Deathloop. Do people... That got delayed, so... Uh, if they're wise, they'd show it off multiple times. Oh no, my comic relief characters didn't make it. Oh well. Uh, then there's the PC gaming show. Uh, I predict that you'll see the XCOM but Marvel game. Uh, you know, uh, Firaxis are making apparently a Marvel-based turn-based game of some kind. And then there's Nintendo. Uh, what to talk about? I don't know. They'll probably show off Skyward Sword again. Uh, Splat Him 3. Uh, I don't know. I feel like they'll show it off. Considering that they had enough to show off like a kind of gameplay trailer. I feel like they've got stuff like that. Breath of the Wild 2, maybe. Uh, but I'm predicting zero mention of Metric Prime 4 or Bayonetta 3. And there's a Smash Fighter. Nintendo's a tough one, though, because it's like, okay, you've got all these franchises, but, like, what do you do? I think Splatoon 3 is too early? Uh, maybe. Uh, I noticed my chat as well is scrolling down, so hold on, I'm gonna refresh my chat, because every single time, every single time I do a stream, it's like, uh, it keeps getting pushed down. Alright, chat's fixed now. Oh! Where'd my game go? Where'd my game go? There it is. Weird. Okay. Uh, my bad, so I'll only say, uh... About the setting, uh, the desert setting, maybe. Uh, so this is the last level of the game. It's kind of an actual level as well, like not like the other boss levels where it was like incredibly small, and you just like do one thing. There's at least something going on with this one. Um, there he is. Uh, he throws the white at you. Post-apocalyptic setting, yeah. Dude, I, if anything, I kind of like the uh, idea of um, taking Splatoon into just some different regions. Um, yeah. So, yeah, so with this level, you just got to jump around. I believe you're working towards getting the, um, the super jump. And then I like this idea of uh, you've got this dandelion over here and you work your way to a platform, sprout it, and then hopefully fall. Nice. Um, I think the pain point that I've got with this level is that you do have to uh, get this up the slope. Did they just like have the mechanic and then said, oh, this weird piece of geometry, like, yeah, it's fine. Oh.
Did I tell them what slopes were in level design school? Because, oh boy. I've got the seed up here, but I don't really know what I'm particularly going to be doing with it. And I can't particularly jump anywhere with it, so... I think I do need the blueberry though, because you need to push uh, the grasshopper guy to the end. I don't know, what's his name? Thumper? No. I don't know. Yeah. Ugh. I, I don't know why I'm having a big trouble with the jumping in this game. Uh... So, yeah, I don't have particularly too much for Nintendo because I have the feeling that, like, yeah, they're just gonna, like, either talk about a lot of those, like, third-party indie games, um, you know the kind. Got the French fry? Oh, exactly. I'm surprised I got the French fry before I got the other ones as well. Uh... Might as well grab this that. That'll be useful. What is that doing, like, there? I don't know. It's a very, very odd spot, but sure. That'll give me that needed height to, to get to places and be able to chuck this down somewhere. And where am I going to use this? I don't know, but maybe I'll just activate it. Just call it a day on that one. I really hate jumping in this game, apparently. Uh, so I think this level is as simple as just, like... Just, you know, you're fighting a boss, inevitably. Uh, but, yeah, definitely want to get final hits done with the thingy. Uh, is it going to chuck in other music on me, or...? Oh no, it's the same final boss music. Unless I chuck the game over music on me. And I just didn't even realize. I want to grab that, so I don't have to worry about grabbing it later. Alright, what other goodies are around this area? We've got these. Got the F over there. There's such precise jumping. If only that was a double jump mechanic, you know? Well, this game definitely hasn't aged uh, in terms of the gameplay. We got the F here. Uh, am I in line of that? Yes. I'm going for the one grain that's on its own. And I... Mm, I got the... I don't even want to comment. <laughs> I don't even want to... It's white. And it sticks to ants. That's right, it's white paint thinner. Uh, oh, I guess ants get lost in milk as well. Yeah, yeah. That's probably a more innocent answer. <laughs> I think there was a blue power-up somewhere? I think that would probably be really important because, like, invincibility is kind of neat, but... Legit, being able to heal on this level is probably... <laughs> the, uh... Most useful thing. Oh, it's down there, okay. And... Mmm, did you see that? Was that the L sitting up on a high, mighty ledge? That is... I think I've got the pieces in place though. But, interesting that, yeah, you do have to get that one seed up here. And then it all opens up, but... Alright. Let's go high and not hit the L. Let's go back and go even higher. And readjust the camera and know that I'm not hitting the L because I need something over here. Strange. 
strange. Get the L. I can only see there being one way of me getting that sub. Note to self, the L is up there. Uh, so, the point is, you fight him, then he takes a hit, and just, uh, bug is off. Anyway, there's a legitimate fight at the end, so, we're just using this to, to get some distance. Um, this area, I don't, oh, I don't know if there's any power-ups here, but... I gotta be careful after a while if he legitimately... Hey, you love how, like, Pixar nowadays are like, you know, oh, they, they, and, and they do a really good job of this, where, like, you know, they'll, they'll anthropomorphize things as they do, but they generally sit within, you know, a kind of realistic form, so, like, uh, I, that, that's such an oxymoron of a statement, but you know what I mean, like, like, uh, they'll, they'll introduce, like, the seagulls, and the seagulls obviously have, like, faces, uh, but then it's just, like, you know, they, they definitely move, like, seagulls or something, you know, very, like, sudden movements, like birds always do, and then you see, like, a, a lower budget, you know, like, animated film, and it's just, like, they just move like people, and it's like, oh, okay, that's a bird that moves like a person. Um, I don't know if A Bug's Life was at that period yet. I don't think it was, because they made, this is their second film? The second feature film, Pixar? It's got its quirks, I think it's, it, uh, it does a good job in having the, the horsepower to drive wider environments and at least, uh, more characters on the scene than, uh, Toy Story ever did, but I have the feeling that it, uh, still had that issue of, uh, things being existing for the animated presence and that was it. And that's my thoughts on, like, A Bug's Life as a film, is that, like, kind of sits in that awkward period of it's too early and it didn't have as a sequel. I know, right? The one, the one, the one Pixar thing that didn't have, didn't have a, a follow-up. Alright, so again, I'm to keep cycling and you gotta keep doing these awkward jumps because you don't have an alternative for the moment. Oh, come on. There we go, okay. This is a real, like, precarious final boss, isn't it? Where it's just like, can you fight on the ledges? Where's he gone? He's gone over there. Can you do weird platforming? I I legitimately don't know if they ran out of time on this game, actually. And they were just like, oh dang. Ow! Anyway, bump that down and uh, I think this leads into the, the third and final area, which is the cliff face. Uh, I, fortunately, there's nothing along the ground. But it does mean that, yes, we haven't escaped the climbing. Nice of them. Put some some seats behind the ledge here. What's with the fossils? Like that's a real tiny bone, if it is. All right. So <laughs> you got the gold berry there. That's uh, that's for note. Um. Yeah, I I'm at least glad that this last level is more significant of a level than the other boss levels. Cause like legit, legit. If there's one thing. I'll rip on Toy Story 2 for is that the final boss is the last three level bosses in, in one in one go. Great boss. So 
Uh, and, and, like, the weirdest part is that, like, yeah, you have to fight Stinky Pete in the airport, but then, like, what do you what do you do on the plane? <laughs> this should have just turned into an actual platforming level at that point. Like, can I reach this from here, or is it gonna be like, nah, you should probably get the dandelion. Oh, I don't think I can. Yeah, sure thing. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so I've, I've basically gone through all my E3 lists. I don't expect any of it to happen. Um, I, like, I'm in this weird point where, like, I, I really don't know if uh, anything is going to exist or not in, in the E3 space, but uh, what it will be is an exciting time of uh, things being announced, uh, people going prospectively whether things will actually exist, whether things have changed over time. I actually find that's the most interesting part of all of E3 and all of, you know, any kind of press release. It's like, hey, like, you said this game was going to be this, it ended up being like this. Like, there's a lot of games that do end up in that transformation and the media presence of that game is a real like key point because it highlights like what not what the developers are doing but what like the PR believes the uh, the developers are doing um, and I guess that's that's an important thing as well like uh, we'll all rip into cyberpunk but honestly did the developers make it clear that the game was not you know particularly in a working state I think that whoever is doing art and uh, sound and all that stuff at CD Projekt Red, probably, or Pro Project, um, you know, they're probably doing a, a real good job. Um, by the way, so you come up the top here and there's like a bird nest. Uh, and there's an actual bird and I believe it does kill you if you go too close to it. Um, so I'm like, sure. I'm gonna heal while I'm at it. In the worst way possible, which is having this um, so, but, but no, yeah, I, I legitimately think that, um, and, and I'm saying this, like, seven months out of the release of Cyberpunk, uh, like, I feel like the artists and the PR people, like, tried their best. The developers, I have no idea what's going on. And unfortunately, a game is, it's a team effort. So the team goes down if the team doesn't get the group effort. Uh, points and yeah very unfortunate for, for cyberpunk that team effort really didn't pay off um, well sorry it didn't it didn't pay off because it seems that on the development side it was it was lacking uh, the segue that I had um, was that was that yeah the um, a, a game changes over its life cycle and I find the most interesting bit of v3 is not necessarily what the game ah oh, dang it not necessarily what the game is. Uh, renderers were, were very good. Oh yeah, yeah. And and especially like I think even in game, how they incorporate the animation and the, and the voicing into those interactive, you know, effectively interactive cutscenes. Um, but how how it's all integrated, I feel like is one of the smoothest I've seen. Not the most original, but definitely like the most seamless experience. Uh, have I got all the seeds? I'm missing three. Where the last three seeds as well? I think they're probably around here somewhere, but... Now I've got the gold berry, just don't accidentally pick up another berry and I'm good, but I'm pretty sure I've wandered around as much as I can. I couldn't seem to find another berry. I think all the grasshoppers are on the ground as well. The ground hoppers in this one. I was expecting to get a super jump in this level, but uh, I guess we're gonna stop at that one. I should've gotten the shield. Um... There's a lot of just like wandering around and collecting things though in this. Ooh. Cool. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've got everything in this sector of the, the thing. Um, so, yeah. So I'm curious if maybe games like Sea of Thieves or. Um, Maybe not Deathloop, because I don't think it's been in development for that one. Beyond Good and Evil 2. Uh, 
What's another one that's been around forever? Psychonauts 2, I guess. Um, Breath of the Wild 2, maybe. I, f I hope that there's going to be a lot of games that have, like, a lot of interesting history that can be uncovered. Like, just like, you know, how did the game start development? Uh, where did it go? What were some ideas they had? Uh, maybe not revealing all the all the, the nitty-gritty details immediately, because you never know. Like, Nintendo is always key on keeping that stuff sealed because they have... They often will reuse ideas. They have an idea, toy around with it a bit, get shell for 20 years, and ends up becoming Star Fox Zero. Which, I, like, that, that's the surprising part, is that Star Fox Zero is a reimagining in ways of elements from Star Fox 2, which ended up being properly released, but I highly doubt Nintendo would have released Star Fox 2, um, like, first. <laughs> I, I think they would have 100% done what they did and released Star Fox 2 just exclusively. Uh, or rather, release it afterwards, just entirely. Or never at all. It's an absolute miracle that they actually went and finished it. Um, there we go. Okay, okay. Once more we're feeling. I need, I need the letter. I need... Is that the L? Is that the L? I'm missing the L? Yes. Oh, please. I, I must be doing something wrong. I can think of one thing. Okay. I'm going to commit to the one thing. Ooh. Do things. No, actually, I can do it here. No, I can't. Because that was a C. Like a, like a ingrow one. Alright, I'm going to come back for the seed over here. Uh, what I was thinking was, uh, yeah, taking a seed down the bottom and then just, like, dropping that one. Uh, so I know I've got the one seed on the ground around here. There it is. So I'm going to bring this one around and I'm just going to, like, pull that one off that one ledge because I don't need to go to any other ledges. So, and also it falls off anyway, so... It seems highly likely that they want you to boost a seed up onto that ledge. Uh, there's a fun bit. Getting lost. You you thought that would have blocked me from bringing the seed over, but but no. Uh, so it's this platform, yeah. This seems high enough. Like, if I can boost onto it, then I can probably get that seed up. So... I'm still missing three of the s small... Sorry, am I saying seed a lot? Uh... Oh, I think I'm, I'm still going to need this one. Oh, maybe not, actually. I don't know. Oh! Not the dandelion, but... Okay, I got that one on the high ledge off, at least. Here we go. Yeah, I'm curious if, uh, how much of this game is, like, intentionally playtested this way, and how much is just kind of like they threw some platforms together, called it a day, figured out how to do it once, and was like, yep, that's it. You really have to be kidding with me on this one, right? Uh, psh, there it is. Third go. No, I've got to get up there. Alright. And then this should just take me to the ladder. There we go. Alright. So, three... Three seeds. Three enemies. Three seeds. Three enemies. Three seeds, three enemies. I'm just like glancing through my let's play again just to confirm that yeah the last enemy counts as a kill. He does. Okay. So the boss is one enemy. I know, right? It's crazy that my let's play is actually like a source of truth on this game. That's why I wanted to play it, because like I legit the quality is so horrendous on it. 
and also I was 13 and a half. So... I have the feeling that all the seeds are at the end though. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna commit to walking up. Obviously, yeah, I, I shouldn't be fighting the end guy until I have 15 uh, of the berry things and then all the seeds, of course. So it's obviously, like, here. Just, just spook him off into the next segment. He's, he's got no better insult than to call you a loser. He's run out. He's run out of ammunition. Uh, well, I mean, that's the enemies. So where's the seeds? Ah, uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Was was that the enemies? Why is there an extra enemy? Okay, I'll take it. All right, there's two of the seeds. There's three of the seeds. Okay, they're all there. They're all there. They're all there. Uh, I guess you could just get them from jumping up the top. So, I think he's worked his way up to the top of the level. So now, I just gotta work my way and get those. That. And these two. There we go. There we go. Home stretch. I do have one, or I, I do want to show off the very small bonus levels at the end as well. Um, which are, are very short, so don't worry. And let's kill him. So yeah, is it going to show me at 17 out of 16 on the bottom for like one frame? No. Oh, okay. Weird. Help me! Help me! <laughs> Legitimately dead. Legitimately gone. Out of it. Horrendously gone. He's out of there. And uh. Well, that's it. That's that's the uh, the main game. Um, and obviously you get a bonus video saying he's still alive. So I guess that's that's the fate. I think he'd just fly away, but no. This is terrifying. That's terrifying. Jeez. Oh, oh, we we got another one. <laughs> we got another one. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, jeez! Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, jeez. And this happens afterwards as well, yeah. They've done everything and they just they just drop all these gags. Real talk though, how much of the movie is in this game? Because I legitimately feel like it's probably like 25 minutes. That's a lot of the game. Oh, there he is. Uh... 
Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you, dialogue. <laughs> so people watching the VOD are just like, hmm, you just stood silent there for 30 seconds, just in awe of whatever is happening in, at the end of the film. Legit, this is a lot of the film to be showing. Who needs to go and watch the film? I've got the video game. I can, I can abuse copyright in this media as well. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, so as a game, I'd say it's all right, actually. Now replaying, I'm like, yeah, it's got some frustrating bits near the end. Um, and yeah, I don't know why I missed the, uh, the tokens on level seven and eight last week, but here I am of doing it. Uh, it's 1124 PM and I'm going to show off these bonus sections. So that's, that's beautiful. Um, so yeah. And then congrats. I did it. Get game complete. Wow. Didn't they make Sonic 3D Blast like two years before this? That game came out incredibly late, like on the Genesis. We got this Traveler's Tales logo on the back, so you know who's working at who. Um, I, I'm curious how many of these uh, names overlap with the uh, the Toy Story names. I feel like it's it's a lot. Uh, considering, yeah, it, it does feel like it's it's very similar engine wise. Um, they probably did slap the games together a bit quicker than uh, you may want to, but I feel like in general, hey, this one's got there's a fair bit of gameplay and a fair bit of stuff going on. Oh, yeah, then they get yeah they got psychosis. Then I don't know why. A couple of Disney fellas. Some more Disney fellas. Why not? Just have all the Disney fellas. Oh, yeah. how many Disney fellas did you think? That's okay, because there's a the Randy Newman score. They actually got him. Used with permission. Uh, unlike me playing the video game. Whoops. Gotta have some, some Sony credits as well. I don't have too much to say about this game otherwise. I guess graphically it's okay though. Seems to look alright. Like, given 1998, it's like, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Disney character voices. Angry John Burden, apparently. He never really talks about this game though. I don't, I've never seen it on his channel, I don't think. Maybe, maybe there's something about Alpha. Uh, transparency or, or, or a particle effect of some kind because he really he really loves his particle effects I always hit load like an idiot all right so let's let's go back up let's let's save proper so I don't drift that up I know right you gotta hit square to save when you're on this screen throws me off just like give me the prompt to save don't give me the prompt to load all right so the trick is Three bonus levels. Uh, I think tunnels is probably the best one for the first one. So, uh, there's three different bonus levels, and you do them by doing something so yeah. obscure that how would you even know that you, you're doing them? Uh, I'm actually doing this one right now. No. Yeah, okay. So, first thing, I need to be able to get the blue thingy. The blueberry. Which appears just at some point in the level, so I shouldn't be too concerned about not getting it. This is a level idea that doesn't, like, repeat itself, which I find kind of interesting. Like, it exists, but... You know what I mean? Like, like there's some games where it's like, and in, in even this game, it's like, you've got the, the kind of sandy, dirty kind of texture uh, that they use for, um, for the, uh, what is it? Like the, 
you know, the outside bit, like the first level. And then they literally reused the first level uh, for level 13. I'm kind of like, oh, okay, like, I mean, sure. I feel like a lot of these games do corner cut in some aspects like that, but it's a bit of a stretch on that one uh, for me. Uh, where is the blue berry? It needs a specific... There we go. Alright, so... These grasshoppers take three hits, and you have to kill five of them in a row without we're not uh, missing a berry. Bye bye, so buddy. me standing it, you'll start to see these exclamation marks. So anytime you see those exclamation marks, you are making progress towards getting one of the bonus levels. Perhaps there's more of them as well, and not just the three. But these were the three that I remember like people showing. So I'm gonna say this three. Uh, this also reminds me of another uh, Traveler's Tales game on the PlayStation 1, uh, Muppet Race Mania. And it's got like, it's got a fair number of like bonus thingies in it. Um, seems to be a much more well documented game. Maybe I'll play that one on stream. Who knows? Um, so once you've done five of them, the game just goes bonus level. So for reference, if you were collecting things in the level, Gone. Yeah. Just, you're, you're out of the level. Uh, these different bonus levels have different uh, features of some kind. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This one seems to be like literally an enemy test and the game has a fun, fun time here. Uh, ants keep coming back. Feature is lag. Oh, exactly. We made a bonus level. It may or may not be the stress test level. Uh, is there more to this level than me just like crushing bugs? I know you can leave the ring, but. Is there anything anywhere else in this level? Like, I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. I don't know if there is. Oh, it was this, wasn't it? Like, you stand here. Was it? I, I remember there being something to get you, like, out of the level. Usually it's the... Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Here it is. So, so this anchor. I don't know why. And, and all the bonus levels appear in this tent, by the way. It's just, like, different things going on in them. But, legitimately... Oh, yeah, also the exclamation mark of Doom. And also, the platforming of Doom. That this 100% must be for testing, right? Because it's just like, there's ants and nothing else compared to any... Compared to any of the other bonuses. It's just here. Oh, uh, if there wasn't like a good baseline, I'd be much more upset. And you just pick it up and you're good. Who knows? Yeah! So, apparently... All the bonus levels have their own cutscene afterwards, so they do intend for you to find them. But, uh, but completing one unlocks all three videos. So in theory, I've technically done all that they expect you to do, but I'm going to show off the other two bonus areas. Uh, so yes, I'll save, I'll save. Here we go. Save, savi, confirm, yeet, sweet. Alright, next one, uh, I'm gonna go to level 8, the city square. Uh, this one I had mentioned that I was accidentally triggering it all the time. Um, so you just gotta be a little careful. Uh, yeah! 
So this one, uh, I was ground pounding enemies in a row. And I was trying to be a bit careful not to actually activate the, the thing. So if I go to a spot where there's Daddy Long Legs, I can ground pound him. Maybe there's an ant. I guess it's that guy. I guess I could do that. Um, so yeah, so you can see the exclamation marks appearing. Just keep ground pounding. Oh. Maybe I, I botched on my streak. Nice. I need super. Oh yeah! Wow. This is there you go, let me just keep looping around. Oh. Where's the spider go? Yeah. Where are the spiders? I have I have miraculously eliminate exterminated all the spiders. There we go. Alright, so again, and I remember activating this one at random on my, like, let's play on, like, what's going on here. And then I had found the one source to show this off. So again, ants everywhere. And in fact, I think the exit is still... Maybe it's up there, maybe it's not, I don't know, actually off the top of my head. But there's a seed in here, so let's go get the seed. Let's go, go get the seed. They didn't intend for the bonus level to be played, did they? This I can use. Oh, yeah. Uh, can I do a cheeky here, or I just use this to? This uh, I, can I can. Okay, so then there's a seed over here. I think I just need to bring the green all the way around there. Alright. Uh, so again, it's the same environment as the last one, to the point that they even now have the ants still in there. I didn't even remember that the ants were still in there. Ooh. And, uh... Yeah, all I'm doing is I'm just walking around the outside, picking up... Thingy. Uh, I think perhaps the trick is that I activate the, the red here, and it lets me sail right over. There's a lot of polygons in this, uh, this thing. You can see the lighting having a field day there. And it's Zed fighting. Oh, really? Maybe I should change the color on it first. Oh. Oh, I got it. Got it. <laughs> Miraculous recovery right there. So you can see the uh, exclamation marks up the top. Uh, I think the goal is just to get the seed into the center now. Credits music is also the uh, eternal bonus music. Yeah. Oh. Alright. Better position, maybe. There we go. Okay, so now I've got the dandelion, and I need to get the one over there. Yeah. Such that I can get the cannon. And then that's it. Like, it's... It's a bonus level. It's 100% just... Something that exists. I get the other one. Uh, ooh. buttons, buttons, easy. There we go. All good. And now to launch myself into the exclamation mark and just call this bonus level a wrap. Fine. I'm shooting my way up here. Well, all right. Why are they? Uh, yes. There you go, I picked it up. I, I think they're supposed to be termites. 
Yeah. But like, yeah, like they're real termites. Oh my goodness. Are you, are you, are you allowed to say that in a kid's film? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Is that, is that the stereotype they're, they're going against on? Huh? <laughs> Probably is. Teach kids to never judge based on the looks. Good. And the last one is in Clover Forest. This one is probably the most involved. Um, trans rights, yeah. Yeah! This is gonna work. Uh, so if I... So that was the, the one seed. I thought it was here. Strange. Maybe they don't let me continue until I picked up this these. I can use. Rain, rain, rain. Rain, 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 and another drop to drink. Alright. So, the goal is to get five of these, uh, just the mushroom ones next to each other. Which is fine enough. I don't think that there's. They're gonna be that tough to get. Um, it is gonna involve a little bit of, a little bit of actually doing the level for a moment. Uh, really being cheesy there, but uh, all the the power ups that they've got, like they've got this seed here, this one. So that's already four of them. And I think there's a fifth one just like around the the corner. Yeah, this was the seed. Yep. Rule of fives, apparently, with Traveler's Tales. Alright. This is gonna work. So chuck that down there. I'm curious what the reason uh Hold on, did they like spawn one of the uh one of the seeds down there? Yeah, that seed is not there when you start the level. I'm, I'm curious if that actually is programmed to appear when you uh, pick up the... Or rather, when you come up here for the first time. That's an interesting one. Or is it programmed when you uh, get the... Um, get the certain things. Also, this is a button, I think, but it's see-through. I, I, it's just hard for me to like notice it. Cause it's like, oh, okay. So, the trick is you gotta line up... Five of these. I'm gonna get the other two, and we're gonna we're gonna see if I can do it. This is gonna work. Flick is certain that it's gonna work. There we go. My best invention yet. There's some very happy music this level, considering like how quick the whole. Like, bird thing I think happens in the film. What? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Who would know this? Who would know that that is actually how you're supposed to do it? Yeah. You'd have to just like bounce on two things and then just like see the exclamation mark. So what this is is that this is effectively a debug for like all the all the flowers uh, to the point that I'm very certain it crashes the game. So there we go. We've got. Um, or maybe, maybe these are like the basic ones over here. Oh, so it's in about nice. Oh, exactly, yeah. So, yeah, so we're seeing all the, the fruits. This one gives you all the health. That's the flower that goes up. This is the green one. The dandelion. The homing one. Uh, the shield thing. The green one that goes up a bit more. Uh, the purple one. This yellow one, I know. The one that Goldberg explodes. The spitter. The thing that spits out super jumps at you, which I actually might need. I actually might need one of them. I might need one of them, game. That's right. And yes, there's 11 enemies on this level. Where? I don't know. 
So there's all the, the plants. Uh, the game does not crash with 20 plants on screen, so I got that at least. Um, I'm curious where these 11 enemies are. I don't think there's any metals associated with anything in this level, but... Are they all up the top? How about... Oh, wait, that's not the one that spits you out. There's nothing up the top. Where's the enemies? Who knows? Who knows where all the enemies are? Ooh. Can I fly this? Into there. Ah, oh, finally. I don't think there's any enemies up there, right? Who knows? Well, me in like a moment. I'm gonna legit spend the effort to come up here. I swear. Only to find nothing. So where are the 11 enemies? Who knows? Maybe a commoner will, will find out. Oh well. Ah. Uh, I don't intend for you to get up there. I'll just... Oh. Take the dandelion up. There we go. Oh, a little more juice. There we go. And, uh, that's... That's a bonus. And then you get one more yeah. clip that will definitely get DMCA'd on my channel. It just keeps going. There's so many movie clips in this game. It's bizarre. Okay, so... That's basically everything in the game. I do not know of anything more that the game has to offer, but granted, that is, like, that would unlock everything. That's all three bonus levels that I think anyone even knows of in this game. That's all 45 tokens, and if we go to the movie clips, we shall see that it goes around. There's all these clips from the film. All... However many rows that they're doing. And that brief moment of 60 FPS in this game. A very brief moment. And so yeah, that's... That's everything. That's the whole... The whole game. Uh... Bit anticlimactic. Pun. Hey. <laughs> um... And with that, let's call it a stream. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Uh, if you're on Twitch, uh, the follow would be nice just to show that you uh, want to see more stuff. But that's kind of it. That's really all it is. If you're on YouTube, the subscribe is if you want to see more stuff. Uh, I may possibly make an E3 video. I'm not guaranteeing it, but I might. Depends if it's going to be funny stuff. And depends if I sit through a lot of stuff. We'll see. And kids, remember. What are we remembering today? This has probably been my longest stream. Yep. The kids have to remember. Can't spell trans without ant. There is that. Anyways, have a good one. Eat your greens, sleep tight, because I know I'm tired. It's 11.48 and I sleep way too early. Have a good one, everyone. See ya.